Come on. That's a, that's a good one. idea. Oh. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do something I have not done in years, which is close all my notepad plus plus tabs. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> I know, it's going to make me so sad. Because uh, notepad plus plus has the ability to like set up a second. Oh, that feels so dirty. The one <laughs> blank tab. I want my 400 tabs open. But I can't be tempted to use um, uh, Workshop Framework or, or any of our libraries. I mean, obviously, I can just copy paste. Yeah, them, yeah. But I want to try and like just keep it clean. Um, speaking of scripts and stuff, I got to post. I I because I know everybody didn't read that those documents I posted. Though that would be that's silly to think that we read. Um, but uh, everybody who's doing oh, no, anything, up, you're gonna want to check something on Twitch. Your commands are not working for donate and stuff. Uh oh. All right, I'll fix that in a second. Um, but uh, everybody in who's working in the CK, if you if you go to, let me find the document. Sorry, Twitch commands, I will fix those in a minute. This is more important. I got to make sure everybody's on the same page here. There's a document. I'm pasting this in our uh, in our little team Discord here. Um, in it, there. If you haven't set up namespaces before in the CK, there's an explanation for how to do it. That way, all of our scripts end up in the same spot. Like. Here, I'm imagining you probably have the some subtle ones one set up like we do. I, I changed mine over to this for today. Uh, but basically, yeah, we're yeah, doing, yeah. I think, end alls is our namespace just to make sure like yeah. fragment, fragments and stuff ended up. Don't have to do, you don't have to do our, our normal nonsense of one giant script today. We'll, we, I will suffer through fragments <laughs> because we don't have time to, we don't have time for people to learn new tricks. Um, <clears throat> but if we can at least put them all in the namespace, it'll make it a lot easier. Okay, let's see what's going on with my bots. Stream elements. So you said my Twitch one's not working. YouTube, I think I saw somebody do it and it worked. It's just my Twitch. YouTube bots? What? Uh, oh actually, it's, stream, it's through stream elements. You can set up chat bots. Oh. Oh, I bet I don't have. I wonder if it did. I never connect. looked into that. <laughs> yeah, I barely looked into it. I only did because uh, I didn't want to have to set up a bunch of moderators because I don't have a lot of. I don't have a big following on Twitch. Um. How do I, so on Twitch, how do I set up, do I have to schedule it like more than two hours ahead of time to get a, a key? To get a or, key for Twitch? Yeah. Key? What? No, no, I don't think so. I think it gives you one immediately because I couldn't even schedule on Twitch. Yeah, it was just YouTube. It's going to be riveting content in the first few minutes, guys, as we, well, uh, as we all solve our technical issues. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you go live and get a key for, for Twitch to drop into your OBS? I've never done that before, so I don't know. Like YouTube, I just schedule it, and it gives me a key, and that's what I use. So for Twitch... Did you, I, were you doing both at the same time? Yeah. I got my YouTube ready to go. I just... Stream? Yeah, well, you, there's a plugin you download that somebody made. Oh, okay. You just you just sign up the two things, but I'm just I just need a key to, to enter into the the into OBS for Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Let me check on that. Sort of. <laughs> you know how like I you get checked a, out this plugin. Yeah, yeah. You get a stream key for YouTube, and you just yeah, right, yeah, right, sure. yeah Well, stream. Under, oh, Twitch has in one the, too. In the Twitch dashboard. So if you go to dashboard.twitch.tv. And on the left hand side, if you or if you click the little hamburger menu, there's under settings stream. It's like right at the top, primary stream key. Hello, long coat. Oh, somebody's got some nasty Dill feedback. An, an Octium. That's an Octium. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, five minutes to go. Uh, okay, we got some more people to introduce on the stream. Uh, an Octium, obviously, with that wonderful sound effect. Uh, Thank you, Anactium, for for I hear I, you were uh, you you kind of ran with the the writing side of things. Um, M MVP of uh, pre production. Thank you for for putting everything together. Um, so uh, welcome. I think you're going to be streaming on your Twitch channel as you put together our companion. And now yeah. he doesn't want to yeah. talk. Cause, oh, there he is. I was saying he doesn't want to talk because of this the, the feedback. Uh, and then of course. Uh, Adelino, hero of uh, of the Enclave, joining us as well. And Adelino, you're not going to stream, but you're going to be uh, kind of doing what I'm doing, which is like background support, right? Just kind of helping out where we need and everything. I'm the man of mystery. Fantastic. No one knows what I'm doing, but I'm certainly doing it. I, I like that. I think we're going to keep it that way, where nobody nobody talk about what Adelino's doing. We want to keep it. <laughs> that way there'll be some surprises still that, that end up in the mod. Um, so we're going to keep it on the DL, whatever <laughs> you're working on. 
Uh, so I think you're the, you're one of like two people who aren't streaming their stuff. So it's almost everything that goes into the mod is going to be on camera for for the record. Um, we did cheat a little bit because we did pre-production um, because obviously we we couldn't even all work if we didn't have the writing done because so much depends on that. The quest setup depends on that. The the voice direction says uh, depends on that. Setting up all these quests and the, without dialogue, you have you don't almost don't have a quest. So. Uh, writing's all done already. We did like a basic plugin. You guys can see in here, I have like some quests set up and uh, we got a couple of scripts and they're basically just stuff so that way we, we can do merging. So we shared it all, but pretty much all the content you play is gonna be built <laughs> right in front of you live, uh, starting in about three and a half minutes. Um, if my countdown timer is correct, I am currently trying to fix a couple of things. We have a problem with our, my, my Twitch chat bot's not working. And apparently the website with all the thumbnails doesn't work. So that's a bummer. The links will all work, guys. So if you go to that on the SimSeldoms.com charity, you can click on those links. It has everybody's name under them. I just can't get the thumbnail thing working, but I'll get that fixed. Probably for the, that's going to be the first 15 minutes of my stream is me technically troubleshooting. Um, so exciting stuff. And I'm sure everyone else will have riveting starting content as well where they're trying to get their stream working correctly because mm -hmm. most of us are not streamers on the regular. Yeah, I tested it yesterday, and I think it's working now. That's fantastic. That's a good. That's a good starting point. <laughs> and I don't have any stream bots, so my stream will just be me watching me a stream. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Re Restreaming my stream. Restream, yeah. man. Take yeah. advantage of your hey, stuff. Reaction content is uh, a big thing these days. I'm that's true. Something there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. Pro I'm probably going to do the same at several points. Of like, uh, I will just. Uh, I'll be like doing. Oh, fantastic! There's there's my favorite sound effect. Uh, <laughs> oh, is this, is this back? What's that? All right. Thomas oh 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 one two nine. Thank you for the subscribe. I am still trying to get this damn chat. I got it working in YouTube, but I don't know why it won't work in uh, in Twitch. Let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's not. This is on me to to solve. But <laughs> uh, we, it might be one of those things that we'll we'll fix after we uh, after we get started, just so that everybody else doesn't have to listen to me talking about uh, troubleshooting this stuff. We got one minute thirty seconds before we say go. Everybody splits off and starts uh, hammering away like monkeys on their keyboards. Is there, who's so among you guys? How many of you are in it for the full, the full shebang? Are you guys going? Who's going twelve hours with me? Oh, Erica Ember, welcome. Yeah. I don't think we've uh, and a lot of people today. Uh, I'm speaking to for the first time, which is really yeah, cool. uh, very excited to uh, to uh, see your work. I, I like the sketches hello, you did. Hello. So it's going to be yeah. cool to see those in game. Yeah, it is I, almost um, time to start. I did a test uh, stream yesterday and. Um, uh, to uh, I got uh, some friends on the, the Discord uh, to help me check the volume and all that, and uh, I managed to make a uh, icon and uh, test it in the game in uh, two and a half hours. So, oh it nice, was, it was Ooh. very uh, nice. comforting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good <laughs> to have a test run done and not be. I know I said I said to Kobe like we should probably avoid doing any experimental stuff. Stick with stuff we know. Um, it's hard enough to do stuff quickly, much less trying to figure out new things. So, all right, we got 20 seconds left, guys. So how are we feeling? We, we can seconds. get the $2,500, yeah? We can do it? I we think can we can do it. that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to up, up our goal midway through. So I'm going to keep an eye out, eye out on that. Um, uh, just to remind everybody, with this is for charity. Donate lots and often. All right, guys, it's time to start. Get after it. I'm going to pop over to the live chat. Everybody jump to your streams. There's streams galore for you guys to check out. I will fix the thumbnail shortly. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Have fun, everyone. Woo. Let's do it. Good luck. Ah. All right. Let's uh, get started. Um, all right. So we're making a gun, a shotgun. Uh, I'm going to try to look at chat a good amount. Um, if anyone has questions or something. Um, as you probably all saw, it's five in the morning for me, so I'm kind of voice is a little tired and got some allergies going on, but we'll, we'll just keep going on. So anyways, 
we're going to do some 3D modeling. We're going to do some texturing and some animating and then a little bit of manipulating some existing sounds just so that the gun has sounds and it'll be nice and easy. Um, shotgun, right. So I did cheat a little bit. I have my plugin here for the, the CK. I basically just took the select shotgun and then renamed everything. <laughs> so if we go into here, we'll see, you know, four shot, six shot, or hexa shot, you know, and all the materials and all the logos. I we're probably not going to be going crazy and getting all the uh logos and different materials going because we have quite the time constraint. And I'm thinking I'll probably spend six hours maybe on the modeling. Because uh, remember, we only have 12 hours, and normally I would easily spend just 12 hours on the modeling part. So, I guess we'll get started. I'm going to hop into 2017 Max. Let's start with a box. And then, I don't, I don't know why, but it always shows up as pitch black. I can't see what the box is. Um, edge faces. Um, configure some viewports. So, uh, yeah, I originally wanted to do this in a 16 by 9 monitor, and then I realized I need all the uh, all the help I'm gonna get, I'm gonna need for you know screen real estate. So, a beanbag shotgun. Um, we're not making a beanbag shotgun. We're making a a, a laser or energy shotgun so uh, that's what the people voted for in the thing on thursday so that's what we're making um all right what was i doing oh yeah right, right. default shading default shading edge faces get rid of the grid because the grid's annoying um, and then on this side we'll be doing clay this is how i like to set it up All right, let's uh, go at it. I haven't really given much thought to how the shotgun's going to look. We're just going to be doing it. Hello to you too, Commander Skittles. I haven't skittled Skittles in a while. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to chop the box in half. Like so. Select our edges that we just killed. So let's symmetry, symmetry it. So that way, whatever we do on one side, we'll repeat on the other side. Because it's a gun, it's pretty much going to be symmetrical anyway. So I think I'm going to go for... Hey, Sidante, how's it going? It is very early. Yeah, it's 5. 5.04 a.m. <laughs> but I went to bed early, so it's kind of doesn't really matter. I think we're just going to go like that and... This is an energy, actually. This is, yeah, this is an energy weapon. So, um, I guess I need to put in a fusion cell in there at some point. So, yeah, yeah. Let's import a um fusion cell. Uh, let's see, extraction. I'll put it over here. Extraction. Uh, meshes. Was it ammo? Fusion cell. Fusion cell. Um, let's take a look. It is. Oh, missed. Hop it in there. All right, so the gun is pretty big compared to the fusion cell, but you know, whatever. So, so yeah, let's, we're going to fix that right now. <laughs> What if this was like a double barrel shotgun? Could it use two fusion cells? That could be interesting. I don't want to box all the way up here, but this thing is all the way down there. Oh, I don't know, but we can just break it down. Okay. Very daunting. Oh, it can be. It's it's 
not too hard and I hear Blender is doing like pretty well these days. When I first wanted to get into modeling, I looked at Blender and I was like, this doesn't look very fun. And so I didn't get into it at all. And then I ended up messing with 3ds Max and I found it a lot more interesting to work with. Half-Life mods, nice. That's an old game right there. I have played uh, Half-Life Alex. That's pretty cool. I haven't beat it, though. All right, so yeah, this is going to be like our um, receiver, I guess. We have a fusion cell there. Um, hmm, how can I... What kind of design are we going for in this, actually? Oh, uh, how about... I'm trying to think of, like, the stock of the weapon. Uh, so we can go, like... What was that? There's a Star Wars blaster. It's the one that Boba Fett uses. Uh, it has a really interesting stock on it. Um, um, let's see. Star Wars blaster. Uh... It was like the EE -E blaster or something. E E E E three. Yeah, yeah, this thing. This thing looks cool. A fan remake of Half Life One. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> well, I guess it's a really old game. It won't be too bad. Where's the photo I wanted to look at? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, the stock design where it's like it's small right here in the set in the right where you grip it, and then boom, stock. This looked cool. We might have to do something similar. And then in here is the receiver and barrel. It could definitely, it could definitely work. Enarm Pentagon. What is a, I'm not sure what, what, Enarm Pentagon? Dimensions? It like breaks open. That's interesting. Is that a giant revolver cylinder? All right, I dragged the thing off screen. <laughs> yeah, it breaks open and it's, uh, it's got a cylinder in there. That's interesting. Back to the task at hand. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to move the cell out of the way for now. Let's move it like over there or something. That way we can get going on here and, uh, let's go uh extend this about a little bit i need to think about how this thing is going to reload that's going to be an important part of it hmm Like that. Let's see. How are we going to do this? <laughs> hey, if it's fun, that's all that, that's all that matters, really. That's basically all I do here, so. <laughs> what if we extended this out a bit? Not quite that much, but you know. Pretty simple. And then this could maybe... Mm, well, I don't know. Oh, I forgot it does that. Let's see, what should I, uh, 
What's up, Jack? How's it going? <laughs> Trying to get a feel of uh, how we're going to make this gun. I thought about it a little bit. I didn't want to think about it too much. I mostly wanted that to be on the stream. Oh, can't do that. We're definitely going to need to uh, clean this up a bit. There we go. And I'm thinking this is going to be more towards the, you know. Oh, actually. Yeah, that could work. And then this will go towards that the stock on the EE3 blaster. Um, wherever I put that, right here. Yeah, this thing. I think I can do that. Uh, let me bring it up on the other monitor, actually. Right there. Oh, just realized I don't have any music going on. Uh, you guys won't be able to hear it, but I'm going to have music going, so. Uh, or at least you guys shouldn't be able to hear it <laughs> if I set it up correctly. <coughs> okay, it's really loud. There we go. Okay. I encourage you all to put on your music, too. And then blaster, there it is. So it seems to drop down a bit. Maybe like that much. Okay, and then it, the grip kind of drops down. A Star Wars field? No, not really. I just I just really liked the idea of how the receiver portion was giant up here and then it really thinned out towards the stock because it has like a pistol grip almost. And then it has the stock attached to that. So I'm not directly copying the EE3. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, it kind of reminds me of like a revolver in general and then they just attached a stock to the end of it i listen to all kinds of stuff um right now i'm listening to uh taylor swift she just put out a new song and it's pretty good and then i'm probably going to switch to probably ghost after that and then maybe some well, I don't know. It's YouTube. It's just going to pick whatever anyway. How does that look like a select shotgun? Or you mean the EE3? Nah. Nah. <laughs> uh, oh, hello, Tech Pixel. I didn't notice you. Uh, you said hello. All right, so we're going to go... Yeah, we're just going to keep extending the back. Oop. Let's see. So it really drop curves down a lot. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to extr extrude it some more. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking now. Maybe like that. We're going to extrude down here, too. And that's where the pistol grip's going to be in that direction. And then this side is where the, the stock will continue onwards. Uh, I have not heard of Tally Hall, no. What kind of music is that?
Um, let's see, what should I do here? Let's move that out. Show about two, two cuts into the, into there. That way we can smooth that out a bit. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm not a, I'm not a 3D modeler, so. We're gonna be doing a lot of shortcuts in this because of our time constraints. So there's not gonna be like the high poly, low poly, you know, kind of thing. It's just gonna be it. <laughs> um, I don't know how much customization we're gonna be doing too either. We might do some like barrels or something, but we we'll probably won't be able to get too crazy with it. Rock band from the early 2000s. Um, wacky style. I do like wacky style. From Asia, I'm listening to Akira, Space Cop, Gavin. Sounds like a huge Takasutsu. Takasutsu? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> it's looking pretty weird without the stock really envisioned on there. Let's take a look at our uh, stock thing again. It looks like actually it moves upwards like this a bit and thins out too. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, take this, move it up a bit. Let's move this out. That can work. And then I'm pretty sure the hand can slip in there. Oh, well, we'll just add another one just in case. Let's thin it out more down there. And then we'll extrude that. And then we can uh, smooth that out too. Power Rangers to you Americans. <laughs> Power Rangers, that's wacky right there. We don't need to extrude it that much. Okay, so in the image, this actually goes out really far. I didn't make it go that far. And then we'll spin this out actually. It's about the same thickness, pretty much anyway. Uh, actually, what if? Well, I'm gonna leave it like like that. So for now, you can grab these, bring them together, so that, like you have the grip, the hand grip goes in this hole here, and grab it trigger right here. That's the idea anyway. Okay. We're, we're starting to make progress, I believe. All right, and then in this, uh, see we have our handle and then it just drops it down and turns into a stock out of nowhere. So we'll try to replicate that. Da, 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 da. So I guess I want to move this back a bit like that. <clears throat> and then we can smooth out this piece too. And where we'll be smoothing out a lot of these edges because they're kind of terrible. So, for example, who could possibly wrap their hand around this monster <laughs> of a grip? So I think we can probably do that right now, actually. That seems more realistic. 
and then you want to smooth out this piece because let's smooth that and make it look nicer. There we go. See? Much better already. They only had two albums. You know, there's a really good band I really like. I'm probably going to listen to them too. Is a Fair to Midland um, American band. Uh, kind of like rock, but the vo the lead singer has got this incredible voice that I've just never heard anyone else have before. Just incredible vocal range. And they too only had two albums, and it was a uh, really sad because uh, their music is just incredible. Let's see. Now the question is, do we just branch out the stock from here or make it separate? Or, can I make this bigger for you guys? There we go. This, uh, what if we just continued it out to here, this part that sticks out, and then the stock piece is its own piece? I think that's a good idea. Um, so yeah, we'll extrude that. We'll see if anyone notices. Hey, isn't that the blaster Boba, Boba Fett has? At least in the stock portion. <laughs> what I'm going to do is go like this. Extrude that a little bit more. And then like the stock will go into this piece because like this is going to have like bolts on it. Wee zapper? I guess a little bit, yeah. I can. <laughs> Ween. I'm going to be into them really great too. I don't know, really like that Ween does a uh, Ocean Man, right? I haven't heard of them in a while. A light stock, probably. Um, will it the model actually be different? Maybe not. Because <laughs> uh, uh, for those of you who weren't here in the beginning, I did mention that for the plugin we're using, I just took the select shotgun and then renamed everything. And uh, so there is like grip, standard, standard light, tactical, and they're all called things like you know standard stuff. So. That was my shortcut for that because we are we are crunching on time. So yeah, I think this could work here, and then we'll just take these bits here and chamfer those edges. Kind of like that. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is grab a square somewhere. This one. Me back the square. And basically it's going to be on the inside of this clamp piece. That could work. And then we'll just take that. Bam. Nautical concept album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ocean Man is a... Uh, that's a classic. Ocean Man. We got wood. <laughs> well, the stock is going to be wood. And that's going to just be in there like, like so, maybe. Well, I think we'll thin this out a bit more. Give it really some like 3D depth to it. And then um, it's going to start out thin, like right here. And then we're also going to actually let's bring this down a bit like that, maybe. Yeah, the the x-ray view is very nice. You can grab those vertices that or otherwise hidden. Um, I think 
Actually, let's let's lower this one a bit. Now we have an upwards incline right here, similar to the one on the bottom. I think that can work. And then extrude. And then we'll make it taller. And this will be going towards the, uh, you know, the, the shoulder, pretty much. This, that's the idea. Let's see. One of the members convinces an old convinces an old man. Is that like a, a music video, or is that just part of the song? It's about convincing a man to tap dance. I feel like I want to raise this up actually because it's feeling really tiny. So let's go that. And then we can take these. Oh, whoops. Only one of these. Let's true that out a bit. Oh, looks like we have some separation in here. Get rid of that. There we go. Don't want that on our symmetry. Doesn't look like it's showing up anywhere else, so I think we're good. Um, let's thin it out a bit. Extrude it one more time, and that's going to be at shoulder length because the hand is going to be right here. Therefore, it's going to extend, extend quite a bit. Oh, it does. It does stick out pretty far, actually. So, not too bad. We'll go like like that. Oh yeah, then we'll cut this in half. Or, well, when I say cut, I mean we're just adding more ways to manipulate the, the mesh there. And for some reason, it keeps extruding with a, a hole in it. So there we go. There we go. That kind of replicates the uh, the shape of the stock. So I guess we're gonna want to take this like that. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at the uh, what we're doing on the chat here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Um oh yeah, and by the way, uh it would probably help. I could have sworn I had it in there. Uh so you'll see on the left uh column about right here where my mouse is there's a um well let's see here there, yeah there's a uh, a bar there for you know raising money for uh ending alzheimer's because you know that's that's the whole purpose of the charity so if you donate over there uh hopefully i'll see that i don't even know if i will <laughs> it should make a loud noise right I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So we're the goal here is around. I think it was 250. Let me put in a link actually, because I think that's missing. So it's going to be using Tiltify. If you want to use a super chat, that works too. It's still going to go to. Uh, I'll just have to forward it all to. Um. The uh the campaign. So. Uh, donations. I'm trying to find the link to this. I had it yesterday. I don't know where it went. 
uh, campaign that saves. Blah, blah, copy Tony URL. I'm going to post it in there and then I'm going to post it in the YouTube's uh, description page and uh, I'll post it over here as well. In Twitch. Um, oh, yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm dual streaming on YouTube and Twitch at um, the same time. So uh, I've updated the the bio on this video, the, the live video. If you refresh the page, it'll uh, you'll see the link. Um, I had that in there yesterday. I don't know why it's not there anymore. But anyways, yeah, all, all, all funds go to uh, the campaign of the raising money for uh, charity. All right, so this is where we're at so far. Vault 120, Vault 120, Vault, one, Vault 120. Vault 120, that sounds familiar. Which vault is that? <laughs> okay, so we're extending the stock out. I'm just making sure the stream's good. Switching to the TV. Nice. Um, let's see here. What should uh should we do now? I think we'll add some add some more dimension to our uh our stock component here. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go like that. Oh wait. I forgot I needed to smooth out this piece right here. Oh, it's over here. There we go. I think that could work. We'll chamfer these edges. Maybe like that much. We have to work with this piece in the back now. Mm hmm. How should I handle this? All right, this is what we do. Take a look at that. Move that out like that. Yeah, I think we can, it's plenty enough just to have the one. Go like that. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, me too. I don't know how this is going to look. We're making this up as we go. <laughs> Mostly following the stock of the plaster. In the back of my mind, I am thinking a little bit of what to do for the rest. Oops. No, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. Keep it nice and simple in there. All right, the underwater vault. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're going to need the shotgun then. <laughs> I think I'll extend this out a bit, maybe. Smooth out this section, too. I like using the clay here, because this is what's going to really show how it looks, the perspective and stuff, whereas the other one is a little bit different. All right, so for the receiver, just trying to think of how it could reload because if you want to do something interesting, it could like 
a section could pop out on the top, like, and then you put in a new cell and then put it back down, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to do that one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, yeah, I guess that works. I think we really need to smooth out the, uh, it's a pistol grip area because it's kind of terrible looking at the moment. I'm thinking. I feel like it could be interesting if we take these and just delete them. Like that. And then we're going to patch these holes. And then we'll take each of these. Oh, I forgot to patch these holes. Look at that, there's stuff on the inside. What is that? Get out of here. I don't know how that happened before. Oh, there's another one. There's a... I don't know what that is or why it's doing that. <laughs> but we just delete them, get them out of the way. Uh, let's see, bridge. Take these and bridge those. All right, so the idea here now is to make it a little bit different from the blaster. Uh, we're going to inset that. And then we'll just bridge them like that. So it adds something a little bit different. And it can look pretty good. Because I really wanted to separate the uh, pistol grip from the rest of it. Um. Now we can, I don't know. Smooth out these pieces, I guess. Actually, let's smooth out some of these here. Okay, and then we'll go like that. Oh, whoops. Grab the... Wait a minute. like there is yep delete all of this because we don't need that in the model at all there we go put that back there we go and my headphones are yelling at me so I need to plug them in bum, 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 bum. Bam. All right. Um, I, I think we're definitely making good progress. So let's uh, actually let's move that down here first. Maybe we can just round it out. That could be interesting. There you go. We got these top pieces to worry about. Hey, Carvac. Is uh my voice? Is my audio kind of quiet? I can turn that up. I think I know how to do that. Um, let's see. Lower this volume. And then just go like that, maybe? Is that louder now? I don't know. 
because the volume in uh, broadcast or not broadcast uh whatever this the streaming thing is it's all the way up Let's see if we can turn that up a little bit okay I can also just get the mic closer to my mouth I guess hopefully that's better Next, we're going to chamfer these edges like so. Except not that way. Like that. That's pretty good. I'll grab these, chamfer these as well. Because it just looks so much nicer. I sound like a five. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's smooth out over here. Oh yeah, we can actually smooth this piece out. We'll go chamfer that. Maybe that's looking a little too low poly for me. Yeah, it's not even there we go. I think we can keep these ones though. I think that'll look fine. Grab these. And then, well, we'll go like that. And then we'll grab those two after this piece is done. Keep it pretty thin. That would work. And then we have to fix this problem here. Oh, interesting. Let's weld those together. And then, yep, same thing down here. Weld and bam. Oh, this is going to complain. There we go. Any problems up here? What's, uh, what's the problem here? What is it doing? Select all these pieces, maybe. Oh, yeah, they're separated against multiple smoothing groups. They should all just be one. I'll clear the one. It's still kind of messed up looking. And then this is kind of ugly right here. Turn off symmetry. Yeah, there we go. That back right there. And the upper one also had it too, huh? Yeah. Need to move that up to there. And then we'll turn the symmetry back on. That looks better. Much better. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't want to spend too much time doing that kind of thing because 
will be here forever. And we've got a lot to do. So moving on. Um, all right. I did want to actually touch these up a bit. It's just a sudden hard edge. It, it bothers me. <laughs> bam, bam. Hand goes in here. Hello, Danimals. Can't remember the last time I've had a one of those Dogurt Danimal things. That's a blast from the past right there. And let's see here. Yeah, definitely hit up the uh, donation link. It's in the, uh, the thing. Oh, someone's trying to hit me up. It's King Gath. Uh, yeah, dual streaming. Oh, spelled the word both wrong twice in a row. Oh my god. Okay. Um, let's see. What a, what a, the stock portion has pretty much come together. Let's add in a couple of, uh, bolts right here. See, again, it just, when you make a new thing, it just makes it solid black for some reason. Maybe like that. Um, we'll turn this up to 24 sided and get rid of the segments because we don't need those. Uh, greetings, John. Uh, Geddes, I believe is how you pronounce that. <laughs> Let's see, radius. Well, it's not important. We can change that. Edit. Um, actually, it's um, delete that one side because we don't need it. Have a you know, in polys on that side, it's going to get hit. So we'll take this, and it's going to be like a bolt. I'm going to have two of them, and it's going to go like bam. And then we're going to, of course, chamfer it. We're going to chamfer all the things because it always looks better that way. And then when we're texturing it, we'll give it some little, a little bit more depth and, uh, you know, in that it's a bolt. So. <laughs> Three screens. Yeah, I have uh, my ultra right here and then my normal monitor to the left. So that's what I'm working with. And then we're going to add this to the symmetry so that we can go bam. And then also we're going to save because I haven't done that yet. That's kind of important. And we're just going to call it end ALZ. End ALZ uh, 2017-01. Um, so yeah, save often, everyone. When you're doing stuff because I wouldn't want to have to do this all again. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, so yeah, we got some bolts going on. Um, feel like, oh yeah, look at that. That's why we have the clay. That's why we have this clay model. This, this error would is so much more visible. We're going to take these pieces, move it up, drop it down, and then the bottom's probably, yep, bottom screwed up as well. Boom, 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 boom. And because we're working with symmetry, the other side is now corrected as well. Add a keyring chain. Am I using Blender? No, I'm using 3ds Max. Um, more official tools. I've never, I've only ever kind of seen Blender. I think I installed it once and then just didn't get into it. Add a keychain. I guess we could add something. It wouldn't be that hard to animate when we're doing that later. We can throw it together. Oh, King Geth wants something else. Do we just need here? Yes. 
Yep. I am on uh, Twitch, right? I'm on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. I think, right? I don't know. It's really just whoever is it's for whoever prefers Twitch, I guess. <clears throat> um, yeah, we could add a uh, keychain piece here. Why not? We would definitely not add any much more difficulty to the animation. It's pretty easy stuff. Whoop. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, were there any more errors in the mesh since we're here? That really looks kind of fine. Kind of. <laughs> A bed. Yeah, I'm dual streaming on both YouTube and Twitch forever. <clears throat> and that looks terrible. So we'll just go like that. Oh, is there um? Oh, there, what? There's two vertices in the same spot. Are they the same on your side? No. There we go. But yeah, since we're rushing stuff, I'm not spending too much correcting things. Well, of course, make sure it's, you know, game ready and not totally confusing to the, uh, to the, um, to the game, so... Oh, thanks for the donation. Um, it looks like the, the bar didn't update. I wonder how, which, was that a super chat or something? It didn't pop up for me which way it was, so it will be added to the pool later. However you sent that. <laughs> Very nice. That's our, that was our first donation of the day, I believe. Definitely need to have that more on the ready so I can see it faster. I'm just manipulating things on the other monitor real quick. Tilt. Bye. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think I'm more prepared for that now in the future. <laughs> but I do know now that it works, so that answers that. Oh yeah, so anyways, we're gonna chamfer these as well. here as well actually you know what this this area is not set in stone so maybe we shouldn't touch that too much we do need to add the trigger in here how was it on the the blaster okay so it really is just a revolver it's just a straight up revolver <laughs> I think we'll take these. Go down, maybe? Lower this piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's, um, have to keep that in mind that it's curving outwards. Okay, let's make it quick. Uh, trigger guard, I guess. So we're gonna go make a spline. We're just gonna go like bam, bam. Actually, you can we'll cancel that tweak. We want it to be smooth, so we'll make it rounded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
That kind of looks like a shape, right? That's where they should have closed it. Try that again. Do it like that instead. What is that? Oh, whatever, we'll fix that. Now it's manipulated a bit because actually we'll just go like that. So lower that a bit because it's kind of crazy. Move that out the right way. Let me go like that. Let's take a look. Not entirely loving the way it's looking. This uh, this trigger guard piece so far. Well, this maybe is too rounded. Mm, I don't know about this one. I need to give it some style other than it's round. <laughs> we can go like, and then this could wrap around this direction. Maybe? Maybe this could work? <laughs> a little. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Well, let's move that. this piece. Like I think that was what was missing. A little angle right there. Perfect. Um, so yeah, now we're going to drag it this way a little bit. And then we're going to edit poly. So now that it's it's going to be like a plane, basically. And then see how many. That's fair. I'm going to drag that out to a zero. And it fits in the, the curve. So I think we will uh, make it out like that. Um, I think what we're going to do now, P90 style, um, uh, if you want it, like, it pops outward on the top here and you pop in a new fusion style. Oh, right. I, the, one of the ideas I mentioned earlier, what if it used two fusion cells, like a double barrel shotgun, but like, you would shoot more than twice, of course, but it would just look cool in the reload, you know? <laughs> all right back to the trigger guard. um but yeah cooper welcome to the stream and to the modding community in general cooper cooper sounds familiar oh you know what thinking of uh the movie interstellar that's what uh matthew mcconaughey is uh cooper So this piece up here, we don't really care about. We're going to delete that in general. So we're going to go like that and then just chop it off. There we go. And then we could add it to the existing symmetry, but we're just going to make a new one. Um, oh. Or maybe it was Z. 
There we go. All right, what? That work? There we go. So it's a little thin. So we're going to fix that. Now it's in the center. Oh, well, it doesn't want to make it easy for me, so we're going to have to manually. Bam. All right. Let's see where we're at. Not bad. Not bad. Now I just need to chamfer all the things. Remember that. And then we'll um P ninety trigger. Really would be different to anything like that. Um body of the gun. Well yeah. Isn't that farther up? Or something in the back. I don't remember. I know the basic shape of a P ninety. It's the P ninety man. Oh yeah, it's it is in the front. I did I remember that correctly. Um What an interesting weapon design. <laughs> what we were doing is um we were going with the stock design of the uh, EE3 blaster, which basically is a revolver and pistol grip with a stock attached to the side of it. I have to go full screen to see it there. We might change the trigger guard later, though. We'll see. We'll see how it looks later. Uh, we're going to name this trigger guard and then like a quick trigger actually since we're in this area. Since we don't know the um, the shape of this section yet entirely, it's kind of it's kind of just there at the moment. Things are subject to change. Yeah, this will be the trigger, and we're gonna be doing the same thing we did on the uh, trigger guard here. Calling it over. Add it to our material again because it keeps in solid black. Okay, the other end of it, and we won't we won't symmetry this because that's not necessary really. Um, let's smooth out this piece. There we go. Um, and then we can also delete some of the stuff on the top because we don't need that at all. And uh, I need to grab both sides because I'm not using symmetry here yet. Oh. Let me grab it all. Yeah, yeah, okay. Chamfer it, of course. Favorite thing to do around here. There's. It's starting to come together. It's 
Um, something I wanted to do was, let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to have to delete a section here. This right here, because I realized I wanted to round out the center here. This is a little too complicated in here to, uh, to do that. So we'll just chop it out. Grab our two sides, bridge it, fill that hole. Okay, and then we'll center piece there and there. Connect them. And then, oh, something we could do also is A couple of those in there. That, and we can basically pop it out a little bit. And then we'll, we'll smooth out this in a minute. Or, well, we can pop out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And then what we can do is uh, bring this in a little bit. And while we're at it, maybe we'll grab this piece too. Yeah, I know this looks terrible at the moment, but it, it'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so we currently have to deal with this. What I'm thinking right here, maybe we'll, we're going to chop it out. And then we'll have a piece that will, um, like a, a disc or something quick to patch it. Um, and then we also need to move this hard angle out. Um, so we're just going to do that by adding a vertice here, right? Here. And then connect the two. I think what we could do is drop this down. Like that. Uh, and then we'll smooth out all this because kind of messy at the moment. See? It's looking better. And then we can go back in and chamfer. Actually, like that can bring these closer together like that that might look a little bit better we used to do a lot of modeling in the past company design you can make a plane behind the gun yeah i thought about doing that but then i didn't <laughs> i didn't know i was going to be kind of copying it this closely otherwise i would have i think we'll um we're just we're just we're just going I don't need to bridge that at all. Okay, so I'm thinking rectangle piece to fill this hole. I think that'll work. Just a box. Of course. Uh, we don't need that. Actually, here we do. Hold on. Then we'll make that in the center. Um, oh, actually, we'll just add it to the symmetry right now. Boom. 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 Did I get the bottom one? No, there we go. Uh, 
and then we'll just uh a quick patch job because we don't have all the world all the time in the world to spend on this we'll go like this though make it look semi neat and then we'll uh chamfer up what is who want <laughs> I do believe my voice will be fine talking for 12 hours straight uh, if, if anyone was concerned about that uh, I know King Gath was saying conserve your voice but I don't know I'm not talking loudly or anything there's a 5 vertex poly next to the one you just fixed too oh, there's, there's going to be all kinds of crazy polys until uh, later Um, but yeah, we're we're in orthographic view right now. Uh, I have my perspective over here for when we want to look at it and see all the detail of the uh, how it looks. Um, hmm. Let's see. What uh, what are we thinking here? I think we'll go like that. And bring that in adds, adds a little more detail like that and then we can chamfer the edges because that's behind you know saving your progress that's the other most important rule speaking of i'm going to save now <laughs> let's see i'll take these Oop. pluck those edges and I'll just delete this other back half because I seem to be messing with things. Now let's transfer. It's creating an interesting phenomenon here. So something tells me. I'm just going to take this, move it out farther. Um, yeah, see, I know that's fixed. We'll make it a thin chamfer there. That patches that hole up a pretty good amount. Um, and since this is a separate piece, we can just go ahead and start cleaning up this area. Bam. I feel like I'm missing something here. Maybe I should actually... Okay, so it is... Go in inward a little bit. I'm gonna smooth that out. Like so. Okay. Yeah. That's just gonna happen probably. I guess we want to. There we go. As for this, oh my god. Weld those together. Weld that into there. And then add some overlap. Let me clean that up. That'll work. Um, is this. Okay. Make sure there weren't uh, two vertices in the same space. There we go. 
I like your mods. I think they're neat. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty neat as well. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> Champ for the world. Yes, that's 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 what we're doing here. Uh, Caesar Legion skin. Uh, we're we're not really gonna be doing skins on this one because we we don't uh, have the time. <laughs> We're over an hour in. I'm hoping to have the modeling done within six to seven hours. Oh, and that also includes the texturing as well. But the texturing is going to go pretty quick, I believe. All right. I think we've spent a pretty good amount of time on the back half of the gun. By that, we can now move on to the front half. And how are we going to reload this thing? That's a that's something I really like to think of because I'm I'm an animator, not really a three D modeler. So we're, I can it allows me to skip a lot of steps and uh, just you know be rather messy with the modeling. So I have an excuse. So I'm thinking let's um take uh, this whole top piece. Bam. We'll go like that, and then extrude the center. Oh, look, it's doing that thing again. Delete. Oh, boy, that's not. Let's put it back so that it's at least straight up. It's not straight up. No, it's mostly straight. You know what? It's good enough. We'll just correct it like that. <laughs> Patch the hole. Bam. Bring that out like that. And this uh, over here can be like some sort of railing that sticks out the side. Um, we can think about a, a front grip, how the hand is going to grip it in the front as well. Um, let's see what if we went like the reload could be like we were, oh where's the fusion cell where'd it go oh uh, i'm hiding everything there we go fusion cells right here let's um figure out where we can put it what, i did kind of like my double fusion cell idea let's um Go like that. We put that somewhere. Oops. And maybe put it in like the center. Should we have it be visible or entirely hidden within the weapon until you reload it? It could also be like a battery. It could be one facing the other way. Is it, there's a positive and negative. But maybe that will look kind of weird when you reload it. Maybe it'll look off. I'm also thinking that way. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking now I need to reverse this idea so far with the top portion being um, thinner than the bottom. And we now want the top portion to be thicker than the bottom. So delete. And we can bring these uh, in a little bit. This is going to be thinner down there. Um, just delete that, I guess. Um, actually, no, let's delete that. We'll just bezel it. Oh, wait. 
Um, we can't build it from here. Okay, we need to. Put me myself in a terrible position here. <laughs> let's lower this a bit. Yeah, let's lower this like that, and we'll just we'll just bring it out manually instead of how we originally intended to go. Like that. But what if we went like that? So it's only the front half, not not all the back. And we raised it up like this. That was a little high. Actually, we can take our uh, cells here, lower them a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess that works. XR20, perfect dark. The saw gets absorbed into the side. Hold on, we gotta look that up. Let's see here. XR20, perfect dark. Images. Oh, it would be helpful if I spell that correctly. Wow, I'm not familiar with that at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, and I had a bit of a different idea going on. This front piece, it's wild connected right now, but I would have like an inner chamber that pops upwards, kind of like a P90 would, except the mag doesn't come out. Let's um, let's keep on going. Um, I really shouldn't have deleted this. It's kind of a It's gonna be annoying to fix, but we can just power on, power on through. Um, like this. If the uh, backhand's right here, we probably want the front hand around this area, actually. But let's take our spin this out a bit more, and then we're gonna go. It makes make it to where the player can, you know, actually the front hand has somewhere to be. Just slap stickers over it, no one will know. Um Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, I mean that's basically what we did over here, basically just slap something. Oh, I just noticed the trigger guards. Well, again, I mentioned that we'll figure out the trigger guard later anyway. Let's see. Hand position. What we can do here is take this piece, move it up a bit. Not that much. Uh, give it its own smoothing group so that it's not blending into this other piece. There we go. And then we can bring something out below. I don't want to just put like a front grip. It has x ray vision and through, shoots through walls. That sounds kind of intense. <laughs> That'd be difficult to do in Fallout anyway. Gotta fix this real quick. There we go. This too also needs its own smoothing grip.
Um, we're going to do a lot of chamfering, and chamfering will kill all the smoothing, but it'll look fine later. I'm just trying to think of how to incorporate the front sight. I mean, not front sight, the front um, grip. And envision how the player should hold it. Mm -hmm. I might just have to come back to that. I'll put that back in my mind for a little bit. Let's see about this piece. Like that. Take these, through this, and we'll do it. Yeah, like that. This will also give us space to make our. Um... Oh, I forgot. We'll do that later then. After we're done with the symmetry, we'll make we'll cut a hole for the trigger, so that it's not too stuck to the bottom of the gun. All right. Let's see. How do we want to handle this? What looks Good. Maybe that. Um, it would be cool. I do you want to smooth that into the bottom here? I guess. We'll chamfer these. Oh right, it's gonna do that. Of course, I should know. Well, I'll do it. Save in case I want to go back. Go like that. And then all of this can. Let's see. So we're going to get two, and that'd be two. And this is one, yeah. There we go. Um, now I'm only gonna do this piece. Chamfer that. This triangle is gonna be terrible later. Um, I'm just gonna delete it now. And then patch the hole, the cap. And put that on too. There we go. Where we're at so far. About an hour and a half in. I think we're making good progress. I don't know what's going on in my there a song with them? I don't know what they're asking in a week of work. <laughs> a little bit. So I am liking the idea of these, these two fusion cells. When you go to reload, you have to pop in two fusion cells. That can be interesting. And, um,. We really need to figure out how we're going to. I think, to be honest, we're going to have to take this, chop it out. It's going to be its own mesh because it's going to move separately from the rest of the receiver. Delete it actually now. I feel like I can come up with something better though. For this um 
top portion of the gun. We'll call this receiver and then box. Um, we already got a symmetry this, so actually anyway. Symmetry like that. So we this could be like this could be it. Oh, you don't worry about the pause. We're gonna be turning the whole thing into tries at the end. <laughs> uh, good luck with the mod. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm think I'm gonna need that look because uh, don't have a whole lot of time to spend it on this. <laughs> so I'm thinking this piece right here will break off, and then the barrel will like continue onwards like that. So, again, we're just, we're just running through this. Oh my God, I smoothed it again. Sometimes smoothing is just super obnoxious. All right, let's create a basic shape for the whole thing. So we're gonna go take this piece, not the center though. Let's we'll quickly chamfer. that so that when we go to make the barrel it can be like the same I'll just take it like that um, the way that you can like see the break in between where you know where the barrel starts and where the receiver ends Nope, I have the whole thing selected. Oops. So yeah, I'm thinking barrel like that. And it's going to be like extra wide. So that it's really going to feel like a shotgun considering how wide it's going to be. And it is kind of like going with a double barrel sort of feel to it. I think, I think that'll be a... You'll see it and you'll know it's a shotgun. That's kind of a, a good idea to have going in. Um, I think we'll patch this hole now. Oh my god, I forget what it is. So we'll have to do this and weld the girts. And then when we bring these in, they'll automatically weld in the center. Uh, again, we're just, we're skipping all the rules. We're just going. So it looks like based off the size of the stock, we have a lot of room to mess with here for the shark in total. So I think what we're gonna do Yeah, I think we're just gonna raise it up, I guess. Or like we can we can we can raise the uh, cells as well. I think about right here, relative to the rest of the gun. And then we can just, oh, I forgot. Um, let's actually just connect the two so it's easier. That way if I move this one, the other one will move with it too. So that just you, yeah, I mean, I'm reading the I'm reading the chat, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, super strong double barrel zapper. Uh, it's yeah, it's definitely gonna borderlines between it's an energy weapon, but it's gonna have a lot of recoil. 
Um, it's going to be like, why is it like that? Well, because my answer to that is compressed gas. There you go. Uh, you know, you're creating a huge energy blast. Um, you know, something's got to make that happen. So that, that, there, you, there you go. <laughs> so I think we're going to do here. Well, no. How should I handle this? You can go. You know what? I think the front of this thing is bothering me a lot. Oops. I'll just remove it for now and come back to it. But it is going to throw me off. Go like that. Um, blah, blah. Maybe an extended one like that. Oops. Not the same piece. This that could be interesting. Now it goes forward here and then comes back out this way. Um, I do need to separate the barrel section. So this is the uh, I don't know what to call it, upper receiver, I guess. This will be detached to be a barrel idea one, I guess. If you take the model from the laser gun and use the rectangular section doubled. Uh sure. Uh well I, I get the idea you're going for. Um like we're definitely we're doing Making something totally from scratch. So we're gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna continue on with this. Because we're already this far in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't I don't wanna take like an existing model and put it in there. I think that's what they did for like the laser gatling was it or something there was some where it was like three of the same barrel or something i don't remember but they just took the uh laser gun and put three of them in there or something i don't entirely remember um let's see here let's look over here oh yeah like i said we're going to um That. And then we're going to bring back symmetry over here. Oh, yeah. I really like the shape of this thing so far. Totally lore friendly, yeah. <laughs> this is a. Uh... Better than I, I was thinking yesterday, I was like, should I start thinking about how this thing's gonna look? And then I didn't. And so it's actually coming together pretty well. Um, oh yeah, let's save. Um, how should we handle the back piece? Should it be like I feel like we have our um, cells in here. They need to pop out somehow. Um, since the barrel, well, what if it all broke open like that? Except not on that point of axis, but over here more. If if you just like break action, I guess. Maybe. Or if only. Oh uh, well. Let me just move this real quick. Like that. No, 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 no. That doesn't entirely make sense. Really. <laughs> Unless, I mean, I'm actually kind of liking the idea of it. 
Should we just go like that? What 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 do you guys think? What do you what do you think? Should we just like if I have in break action, kind of like the select revolver, and you go like that. Did I draw a rough? No, not at all. We started this with the box. I'm just visualizing it as we go and then trying to make it happen. And that's why I can ask you guys uh, what do you guys think. Um, so, yeah, should we go with the break action idea? Just like bam. And this will be like. So you will like pop in the fusion cells in here, boom, boom. And then when you close it, it'll make contact with the uh, back end of the receiver, and that'll be like how it uh, how it all works. I am starting to like that idea a lot. And it could it could mix for some uh, some fun animation too. might have to go that way because we are approaching hour two or i mean we're all, we're approaching the finishing of hour two um my cat is going crazy in the other room i can hear her running around <laughs> um, i think i'm gonna change the song to something else Um, and yeah, I know you guys can you can't hear the music, <clears throat> or at least I imagine you can't. Let's see here. What to listen to? What? This will work. Boom. Except it's really loud. There we go. Um. Okay. Yeah. I guess I think we might just have to go with the break action idea. Charge handle, pull back a cover, and load from the top, making a double barrel shorty. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's the idea. It could be charge handle, pull back a cover, and load from the top. Kind of reminds me of the railway rifle a bit. You just dump railroad spikes into the center of it. Um... Double barrel, charge handle, pull back cover. Hmm. Kind of need to be a. Well. The boxy design is giving me a bit of a Starfield look, actually, now I think about it. Especially the. Stock. <laughs> um, I think we might just have to go this way. Uh, what was that? That was thirty-five degrees. Unless, um, what if it like broke open? I just wanted to do also something else. <laughs> Bam or something. I don't know. I guess I like the uh, familiarity of it being a shotgun, so it should like open like that. Double bar shorty. And there'll be different barrels for different lengths, of course. Like if we went, um, not that. Actually, where's um? Oh, they're, they're in there. I want the fusion cell? We can move it in like that. I think you're right about break action. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I'm liking the idea.
So you'd break it open, infusion cells, and I need to add something more to it. So where it's like, it's not like you're shooting the fusion cell like a shotgun shell, you know? Otherwise that might be a little too silly. Um, hmm. But yeah, I think we might have to come up with something there to help fix that weirdness issue. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll go with the break action idea and we'll quickly come up with something so that it can actually rotate inside like cylinder. Make that a bit smaller. Oop. So that when it rotates, it rotates on the on that point. That auto loader and Half Life Alex. I don't remember that. I've played Alex, I haven't beat it. I don't entirely remember. I only remember really running around with a 1911 or something. It's been a while. I didn't get too far into that game. I think that's pretty good right there. We need to attach this somehow. Somehow quickly and efficiently. <laughs> In a way that doesn't look like it was taped to the side of the thing. Um, we'll add the uh, thing to the... Right there. That way it goes all the way through on both sides. And then um after that. Gotta finish I got stuck at one point. I don't know. I was on this underground I don't even know. It reminded me of like the railroad and Fallout 4, their headquarters. It was underground and there was all these different directions you can go. I was running around in circles and I was like, man, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go. We're going to do something like the um, select revolver. Where it was like a giant screw. So that when the when the barrel breaks open, this also turns with it. It's like really quick and easy to see. What is that like? You get the screw look. And then when you spin it, bam. Which is visually nice looking. Um, back to figuring out how to connect these two pieces really quickly. Um, what to do? What to do? I think what I'm gonna do. Take this. Go like that. Um, I want to play a different song, please. 
There we go. How should I handle this? I really don't know. It's just such a weird angle to it. Literally approach. <laughs> hand grip. I'd put the hand grip right here. Get it close up. Um, so that means we can work with this however we need to. I'm thinking. Just gonna like that. entirely know what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just doing things and seeing if it works. Mm, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, I'm not liking this, this plan at all so far. This is one of those times where it would have been nice to have created a a plan, <laughs> a blueprint of some kind. I think we might just have to do like what we did over here with this piece. Or we just put a Band-Aid on it. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this... Like probably about well, one less day yeah, like that. Go like like that. Well, we need to separate it. All right, we're gonna go really roundabout way of doing this. We're just going to shell it. And yes, I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just messing around to see what happens. Now let's put that back. Like, there we go. Actually, yeah, we'll go like that. And then we'll select everything except this. Delete it because I just needed needed the this side of it. Bring it back get closer in there. Um, I'm thinking this might be one too many actually, so I'll delete that. And then what we're gonna do is drop this down a little bit like that. Bring it over, up and around. <laughs> it's look absolutely ridiculous. And then we'll attach it to a right here, and then we'll yeah, we'll just smash it so it's um perfectly flat. Just do one big patch job, basically. See if it looks better with break action. The break further back. What do you mean, like the the point? The point of a uh, rotation further back, like over here. Oops. Needs to be at the end of the receiver, pretty much. Now we'll continue on right here. Um, this is starting to work. So the idea here will be that it then wraps around towards the back. Um, 
And I really was thinking of like creating some sort of plan. Maybe I should have. But I was like, nah, we'll just do it. We'll just do it live. We'll just uh, figure it out as we go. Normally I have that luxury. Attach that in there. Let's see here. We'll we'll uh, loop it right there. Swift loop. We'll go like that. Like maybe that much. Shoot it once more. Bring it up to match this level here. Maybe a little bit lower, just so it looks slightly different. A longer barrel. Yeah, we'll, def we'll have different barrel lengths, that's for sure. Or do you mean where it, this break in the between? We can definitely do that, because it definitely doesn't need to be all the way in the front. If it's further back, we can... Uh, the player's uh, reloading hand, which is going to be the left hand, won't have to reach so far forward. That's actually a good idea. Um, and then we'll spin this one out like that. Um, and then I think it would be interesting. Like that. Separate it forward. And look, we kind of created a patch for connecting this ridiculous cylinder to the rest of the thing. Hold on, I'll make that a little bit more visually appealing. Oops. Ooh, what happened here? Oh, I see what happened. Okay. There we go. Yep. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna make these quite a bit closer. Well, now we'll, we'll keep that one right there. And so then when this, you see egg and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, we're getting somewhere. Um, but yeah, let's move this thing back. Go to like get around the edge, maybe. I think we can do that. I want them close, but I don't want them totally touching. Um, I think these need to be at an angle actually because otherwise when you lift when it rotates this bottom corner is going to jab into the side of this thing like or well actually because it, it, it's so far back it's actually not making contact with it Okay, never mind. It looked like it was gonna get stuck in there. Let's see what 
really pop it out like that much. And then on the inside of this, there will be a cavity so that the can fit in there. I think we might just use some quick booleans on that. Um, and save. Um, okay. Let's worry about this piece now. Um, actually, let's worry about the backs a bit, the back a bit. Um, go like that. I think we can do that. That's fine. And we'll insert this over here. Uh, what could be good, uh, actually, back here? Some sort of like, almost like a vent in the back. Double vent thing could look cool. So we'll go like that. We'll fit it inside the back of it. Because remember, this is the back view. The player's going to look at it like something like that in game, right? Uh, not exactly like this, but basically we'll be like, bam, bam, you know? So uh, we'll go like that. Then we can put some vent, uh, like whatever you call those grates or whatever. Um, maybe horizontally. I don't know. A little bit. Cosmo. Hi, cat. Cosmo saying hello. What's up? What you need? Anyways. Oh, you know there's going to be random wires for sure. <laughs> bam, bam. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think we'll just go like this idea then. Uh, box. And then, of course, torn material. Um, yeah, definitely. Actually, we don't even we don't need to do symmetry at all. Let's cap that. All right, let's create one of the vent grates. Make it like vent thick, maybe. Um, that much, I guess. Um, we need to go in very deep at all, so let's take uh, this, x-ray it, not that far, that'll look good, <laughs> Dixie tubes counting to the grand total of two. I don't know about that one. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll just chamfer just these two right here. Let's go like that. And then we can just totally... Get rid of the side pieces too, because you can't see those anyway. One centered object. So I think 
that's a pretty good size and vent. Let's um we're going to rotate it, give it maybe like that. So it's like going down when you have them, multiple of them. I think I need to actually extend this back a bit farther than initially thought because we're rotating it. That could work. All right, we'll go with that. Um, we'll just add like maybe 10 of them. Two five maybe? A little too close. One four. Uh, maybe that amount. I think we can live with that. One over here. Back end, big old vent thing. All right, next up, let's, um, let's move out these corners. Oh, wait. Um, let's just check that. Yeah, yeah, that works. Wow, Kat, you are freaking out right now. Well, she's not freaking out, but she's she's just going full cat mode and jumping around, running up and down the stairs, going crazy. Yeah, looks good. Um, I'm not going to worry about fixing every little uh, vertice. We ain't got time for that. Hmm. <laughs> We're making good progress. A little over two hours in. We haven't re even reached the halfway point I've set for modeling yet. Um, in terms of time, I mean. So I, I think we're making good progress, I guess. Um. Yeah, let's just move on uh, to the other side here. Um. Oh, actually, give me that fusion cell. Just make a quick hole punch with it. Oops. Um. Yeah, that's that thickness is pretty good. Oops, I turned on auto key. Pull punch. Pounch. No, punch. And then um we'll just copy the whole punch over and over. Should we need to? Iron sides, yeah, we'll have some iron sides. I don't think we'll have like reflex and stuff, you know. I don't know how much time we'll have for that, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. It's poking out at the top. We might need to do some raising here. Um, Let's see. Where does it fit? Oh, it's just high up. We can lower it. We just take the fusion cell and move it to there. That should fix it. Um, do you feel like we will need to increase the size of this actually a little bit? We'll go like that. Oh. Looks weird. Whatever. We'll go like that much. 
I'll fix that in a second. Um, I'm just making sure. I guess it looks fine. And then we can um, have a little bit more room to work with. There we go. And then we'll update the fusion cell to that same position. I think we'll go like that. This is pretty deep. This one we need to go that far. And the player will like almost never ever see it from this angle, but technically in third person when you break it open you could if the player really wanted to, so we'll add the little detail there for that. Um yeah, we're just gonna cut it in half now. All right, we need to collapse it first. Delete. All right, so what we're going to do now is total Boolean. Mm -hmm. Compound object Boolean. I used to use Pro Boolean, but that just hasn't been working for me lately. Add uh, this guy here. Now we have a hole. Not bad, not bad. And then we'll add our symmetry back in there. Go like that far, I guess. And the fusion cell will sit in there. And then we can go like that, for example. Uh, inset it. These will be like, this is the contact point, I guess, with the fusion cell. And then we'll smooth it out. Um, I don't think I can just select all that. No, nope, I can't. Okay. Just delete all these. Don't need that. All right, I guess we don't need that much detail. <laughs> and then I guess when you break it open. Oops. Ah. And then we can re we can move the fusion cell deeper in there. That should give plenty of room when we're opening it to not have any clipping. I think that works. Maybe. Or at least good enough. <laughs> um, I guess we need to raise this side up again to match the new height. Like that, pretty much. Uh, next up, we have is the barrel. Uh, we're going to use the hole punch again. I guess let's take a look at these. And it is still lined up correctly. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Leave it at the top for the to guide into place. What do you mean by that? Um, 
How would uh How would it be like guided into place? How would what be guided into what? I guess is my other question. <laughs> Because I feel like it being guided in a place is it just slamming down on the rest of the receiver. Bam. And now it's lined up. Right, anyways. Um, we shall now go with the hole punch. I actually take this big piece here and detach it. So what we're going to do now, let's just cap this real quick. Bam. And then what we're going to do is take this whole punch and it all the way through. So we can just hole punch all the way through it real quick. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, cool. Cooper. <laughs> yeah, that way we only have to worry about one barrel at a time. Or the one barrel will be working with both. Working for both of the barrels. Let's see. Actually, what I mean that we'll just go straight into that. Um, blown our hole punch, so we might have to use later. Because we might have to use later. I mean, let's see, pro bullion. Nice, that worked. Go like that, and then we will symmetry it like usual. I have a double, double. See, it's starting to take shape. Not bad. Okay, continuing on once more. Let's see here. Well, at some point, someone donated twenty dollars. I missed that. I think. Uh, thank you for the donation. I uh, didn't hear any sound alert for that, but all right. Uh, whoever that was mentioned in the chat, uh, that I, I can thank you properly because I entirely missed it. I guess. Okay. Chamfer. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think of all the things we have to chamfer. Something I want to do here, we're going to tighten this end of the barrel. We're going to go like that. We don't need those pieces. We're going to go like this. Look. Don't worry about the the one piece uh, clipping in there, we'll fix it later. The reason why I wanted chamfer, or not chamfer, I mean, <laughs> I think everything about chamfering. This is for chamfering, but what I mean is I want to shrink this a bit so that we can chamfer outside of it and create a nice appealing end of the barrel for whoever's looking at the end of it when you're in playing in the game. So where we're going to go is, my cat is freaking out. I think it's because she sees me talking to no one but like I'm, I'm talking to the chat cosmo she's just staring at me and meowing every once in a while and it's not even close to food time so i don't know what else she needs it 
Yeah, no, yeah, no, no problem, not Joel. Thanks for the donation. Um, let's see here, not Joel. Let's see here. Have you guys seen a YouTuber Joel Haver? He's pretty awesome. When I think of Joel, that's what I think of. And then it's The Last of Us after that. But first, I think of the funny YouTuber. Um, let's see here. Now that we have some more room to work with, we can go uh, and chamfer it. Not quite like that, but... It's going to be a problem about it. We have a, quite the mess going on. We'll do this. Hold on. Let's see. Apparently I'm selecting something else. Oh, I'm selecting the other end. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Actually, it's still. There we go. All right, we're gonna have to do this and clean it up as fast as possible. I feel like that's a pretty good size right there. What's going on here is it doesn't know how to handle it, <laughs> basically. So it's freaking out and overlapping the So we're just going to have to add a nice little piece right there. And if we break it here, it should figure it out. Yeah, it got it. And that corrected the other side as well. Next, we have uh, this random piece. Um, and just like uh, before, we'll have to add a piece in the center or a, a vert. Connect it. There we go. Um, next up, we need to smooth out the center separately. Look at that. This is really coming together. <coughs> Let's see here. Okay, that's pretty good. What if it literally shoots the shell the <laughs> cell out of the front like a grenade launcher? Yeah, uh, so this this back piece will overcharge the fusion cell and then it launches it out like a grenade and it lobs it and it explodes in contact. If only. No, we're we're doing shotgun blast. <laughs> Joel is a nice main. I know you mean name. Shaman ain't mine, though. Yeah, I mean, you're not Joel, so it is what it is. Look like this piece was sticking out for some reason. Um, I'm going to go to the fridge and get a drink real quick, so I'm BRB and thirsty. All right, I'm back. So, where were we? Oh, hold on, thirsty. All right. We'll be a part of, wait, what a double barrel shotgun will be part of the SE. The SE, what do you mean?
Mm, special edition? <laughs> we need to do something with the size of this thing. Because it's kind of overly boxy, I guess, to say. I've already chamfered that side over there. We will need to chamfer this as well. Actually, before we do that, we need to correct this end. Um, actually, bring up a fusion cell. Oh yeah, we do have we have plenty of room. Okay, so we're going to smash this side of it as well. That. Bring it more in line with the shape of it. The select series. Uh, no, this is this will be its own separate thing. You know, the select series that has all kinds of different skins and stuff, and we're just making the overall shotgun now for um for the charity mod. Um. I do wonder if we might update the mod to include more stuff, maybe. Perhaps not on Xbox, though, because, you know, Xbox has such a limited space. Oh, it's really messing up on that corner over there. Look at that. Hmm. Well... I think it's fine. Obviously not this. I'm gonna fix that in a second. But <laughs> let's see here. What uh what's going on here? These are very close together. I guess we can add the other fusion cell in there. Um, and then we're, I think, we don't want it to just be like, oh, fusion cell on the other end. We need to cover that up. <laughs> there needs to be something in here that converts it to laser blast. Select series got the pickup animations too. Yes. Um, we If we have the time, we'll do that in this mod as well. Because it'll take probably about half an hour to create a simple one. And yeah, if we have the extra time, we'll definitely add that in there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and then yeah, we don't need to see yellow fusion cells at the end of it because it's not firing the fusion cell out the barrel. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do. Need to create something fancy in here that looks not too crazy. I think we can just use the hole punch for this. Oops, wrong button. Hole punch. Of course, that's a little extreme. We'll x ray that. Fusion cell will sit against it. Maybe it's like this long, for example. If we want to take into account the, um, yeah, about that long. So that way we can have some, a short barrel version, this barrel, and then maybe a really long barrel. Like that. And now to make it look a little bit fancier, we're going to do 
that and go the inside like so maybe smash a little bit uh insert it again some long thing in here uh looks thin and then suddenly it's gonna extrude up even farther <laughs> and then maybe we then chamfer that end of it like that and then we can do even more than that by going like like oops every other one yeah next one If you do look down the end of the barrel of this thing, it will be, like I said, interesting. There's going to be some sort of energy emitter. It could eject ruptured cells, like the ends get blown up upon firing. So that would be really cool. Or you can make it around more like binoculars. It's kind of boxy. Yeah, right now it's pretty boxy. It's kind of reminding me of like a... Uh, Starfield weapon. I mentioned that earlier, because the weapons we've seen in that game are, so far, particularly the one we're on the top of that base. It's a giant box gun. I'm thinking it'll be kind of close to this shape, where it's flat, flat, chamfered, and then we'll add things onto the side of it. And then uh, maybe we'll just extrude this. Um, we don't need to be too complicated, but I also want it to be really interesting at the same time. That. And then we actually don't even need that centerpiece because you can possibly see it anyway. Now for the part the player will indeed see when they pop a fusion cell in here. I think we can go Yeah. We'll do something sort of similar to the front of it by going uh this, uh we'll extrude it backwards. Maybe, hmm, I haven't seen them. There's a big box of rifle gun. Looks, looks interesting, very Starfield looking. Some sort of futuristic tech that's also realistic looking. Go like that, set it again, and it'll be like kind of like a plate. Like that. And we'll that'll stick forward into the to make contact with the fusion cell. Then right there, and then on the center. The idea we can go like that. Set again and then bring it in a little bit. All right, now we need to do a little bit here. Here's the best Vault Boy avatar. Yes. Uh, my friend uh Kelsey, she's a professional concept artist. She uh she made Xander in the style of uh of the Vault Boy. And she drew all the, the face different face animations and it's insanely impressive. Love it. Um so yeah, then I just made it the actual thumbnail for the channel. <laughs> 
Like, this is perfect. Let's see. Let's, um... Uh, yeah, if you want to find out more about her, her name is Popx. It's B-O-P-X. Popx. Like that. Let's see, if you're looking down the barrel of this thing. Oops. Yeah. I feel like we need something else. We need something maybe a little bit more. Save? Yeah, I guess for <laughs> Fine, if I must. Let me think of this thing. Oops. This thing is kind of bothering me a little bit. Add a little bit more detail of that. We're starting to go a little overboard with the amount of polys on the inside of the gun that no one will ever see, really, but. This still feels a little too plain. You know what I mean? We need something more. Um, I think we'll just stick with that for now. So we're going to take this and attach it to the there we go. So this thing will break open. Okay. There you go. Pop infusion cells. Bam, bam. Um, so since we have the something we need to think about, the fusion cell we saw is uh it's got a positive and a negative. Positive is reaching for this part of the receiver, and the other end is on the barrel of the receiver. We need to connect them somehow, pretty much. Because otherwise, it's not a closed circuit, so. It needs to make sense a little bit more. Ridges in the barrel. <laughs> Nice violin you have already. What do you What do you mean? Violin? <laughs> Hendrix. Let's see here. No ridges in the barrel. I think on the inside, like in here. Like every other one or something. And what street it? You're like, damn. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Two uh, separate animations. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A shot, a single double barrel blast or each barrel individually i'm not sure that's something i'll have to think about later um i think we'll just stick with that for now uh let's get on these pieces now I think I want to put those first. Like that. And it looks like it matches up the same size. Nothing's broken, right? A little bit of broken stuff, but we'll fix that later. 
Okay. Now we'll take these pieces. Can be a charge up shot. I thought about that as well, because playable guitar reminded me a lot. Violin. Detail you could see. Yeah, this I. You definitely see it more on this side. Uh, then violin. For, for, I mean, I don't see what part of this look like a violin. <laughs> you shouldn't play this like a violin anyway. Um, 3ds looks so easy. 3ds is very easy. Um, once you know how to do basic, you know, box chamfer, uh, add things to other things. It's pretty easy to just be like, oh, I want to do this, so I'll do this, basically. Uh, could it be a charge-up shot? Um, I did think about that. Um, again, that's another animation and a sound, probably. That would be hard to just come up with in a certain amount of time. Uh, it sadly is. My humor is just very bad. <laughs> uh yeah, okay, yeah. Don't don't play this like a violin. Disclaimer. Um so yeah, it's back to chamfering. Favorite thing to do around here. Bam. We'll definitely add some stuff on the top of it too for sure, so that it's not just straight up box, you know what I mean? So box is this really plain looking, so we'll add some wires or something something that looks interesting we'll shoot from both barrels at the same time um i was thinking one at a time but we could add that's a tough question i think it would have to be two at the same time maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll get to that when we get there. Okay, so we have that piece. We can add like a something. I was also thinking of like a handle on the side of it because when it like it breaks open, and my fusion set was not following the. Oh, that's right, because I changed it. Oops. Barrels over here now. <laughs> okay, we'll just add that piece onto there. So, so now it should follow. There we go. Not bad. Go ahead and save. Let's see. We need to fix these problems over here. I'm just thinking I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to just cheat it and go, oh, what happened here? I don't want that. Is that on the bottom too? It is. Well, let's turn off symmetry for a second. What the heck? Well, whatever. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Continue on. <laughs> fix that. It's fixed on that side. The other side is also broken, right? Yeah, a little bit. It's overlap. It just doesn't know where to go. Uh, let's see if we can fix it with this piece. Nope, that was not the answer. All right, well, this had a right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, it's fixed now. Okay. Can you play like the photon disruptor? Not so much about the yeah, an action release. 
Wait a minute, like the photon disruptor. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it breaks open. Oops. Oh, yeah, we need some sort of ejector. So it launches out, kind of like the photon disruptor. Okay, then that means. Well, we'll just separate it later. So it's. I have an idea for that already. Okay, so we've pretty much got that barrel mostly working. So now what we're going to do is come back down here and start filling out this empty area. You'll see that's how I kind of do things. It's just all over the place. I don't focus on one area for too long, it seems. <laughs> um, so let's head back here. Oh. Oh, that's right. The um, this up here is uh, inside the. It used to be like right there, but um, let's put it back, I guess. And then we need to grab both these pieces up here, and all these. And then bring it back down to where it makes sense. About right there. Where does it? Go about right there. Put all these together. It's not broken. Fine. Oops. Only wanted these pieces. I'm just going to complete this bottom right here platform. Because when this breaks open, it's going to reveal what's ever down there. And we can uh, put some more stuff down there. Oh, that could be how we connect the um, barrel. You know, like I said before, like the positive and negative of the fusion cell to the complete the circuit. Uh, there could be like a, a metal plate down here that touches, that makes contact when the receiver, the barrel's closed. It can connect back to the whatever this does. <laughs> I'm getting kind of cold. Let me put my jacket on. Looks like it's gonna rain outside. It's so gloomy out there. Anyways, uh, back to down here. Yeah, as we're getting more work done, I feel like we're gonna redo this trigger guard to match the rest of the design. Anyways, um, get back into it. I don't want to lower this piece, so I have more room to work with. Like that. What? Let's see. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's just so easy to have errors in your mesh and you don't even notice. Um, Let's see, trim for it, we'll go like, yeah, how does that look? Fine, looks good to me. Next up we're gonna do Is this lined up with the, um, it's a little off actually, but at the same time it kind of looks fine, but we'll line it up. 
I don't understand what you're doing, but it's stunning to look at. Um, I'm glad. That means the stream's entertaining, I guess. Oh, it looks like we are getting close to our halfway point, right? Started at five, it's almost eight. So yeah. Um, I guess we can go. Look at that. We'll move it up forward more so that way it's more visible to the player when they're reloading. Or actually, let's um let's go like this. We're gonna go bam, bam. Oops. Look at that. And then we're gonna do another inset over here. Bring it that way. Raise it up. It's just it really is just to make it look a little bit more interesting underneath. So I'm thinking we'll go like that high. And then on the barrel we'll add this uh indent into it, I guess to say. Okay. Okay. Right, so we're gonna go like that. Then we're going to bevel it. Oops. We have one for each fusion cell. We'll go like that. It's satisfying satisfying for sure, so I'm interested. Alright. Let's see, I guess. At least doing this will make some sort of sense. And I'm thinking this will be like some copper plate, you know? Something very obvious. Um, what's going on here? Oh, it's just a optical illusion, I guess. Bam, bam, bam. bam. Sure, why not? Take that piece and we'll grab the neighboring ones. I feel like we've got a good flow going. We're really just, you know, finishing up a lot of this pretty quickly. I'm, we're really going at it, right? Like I said in the beginning of the stream, I'd normally spend all of the 12 hours in just the modeling for a gun. So I, we're making really good progress here. Okay, so we'll do that. Next up, we need to look at that or something. Um, we'll uh, take this go like that. So that way we can see how it needs to line up. And it's all the way back there, so. Go. I'll be about right there, and that works. And then we'll add another one over here. About right there. So that way we can hop into here. And our connection plates will be right there. Inset that. Extrude it. 
we don't have a whole lot of room to go up. So if we go up too high, so it starts popping over. Works. I think that's plenty deep anyways. Um, I think I do want to stretch this out further though. Maybe that much. All right, so now we'll add the actual plate that will make contact with it. Uh, similar to that one down there. Has a crossbow feel to me. Yeah, it's because it's so wide. And then the grip and stock is so thin. But, um, yeah. Let's see here. We'll go like that I guess. Um something I need to actually look at. So it looks like these aren't entirely lined up correctly. As you can see this rectangle is where I need it to be. I think we'll move this whole section a little bit more center like that and then we can go like that all right and then we'll start to make them con make contact like that and like before we'll bevel it again And now we'll make the actual contact with it. All right, there. Man. And we'll do the usual uh, chamfering, chamfer all the things. Add some chamfer to these sections as well. Because this, this right here is a definitely a part that the player will see. So we got to make sure it looks nice. I'm going to go big chamfer on this. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, I see. Whatever. Well, we just. Undo. There we go. Let's grab all of this at once. Yeah. Get rid of all that. I'm going to put a bigger chamfer there, and then it's going to look quite a bit better, I think. Big chamfer. Let's go. Bam. And then we'll transfer the rest of this too. Um, we'll grab all that. Next up, this section. Can't go too crazy with the chamfer on it though, because. And it's, oh yeah, let's make sure it's not clipping through or anything crazy. Okay. So the thing we're going to do is take this piece to get in more because it isn't really doing anything getting that far out there. So there we go. Okay, now that when you, um, what, 35 degrees? You can see where the pl the plates match up. Oh, they're pretty cool. To the plates. <laughs> okay, so 
need to go back to spending more time on the this piece now. Um, what should we do here? What should we do? We have this front piece. Um, I guess we can patch this hole now. All right, the hole goes all the way. Okay, I see the problem. There we go. All those together, so fix that. I need to figure out something to do here. What about adding some coils like a toaster? A toaster. Toaster coils. Toaster coils. <laughs> We're looking at toaster coils. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess they're just a straight line a strip of metal that gets hot look an oven coil looks kind of cool we could add like some sort of glowy bit in there somehow where would we put the coils like down in here in this cavity So when you break it open, you see the coils or something. This is a fantastic time to come back. I need to make voice actors say stuff. <laughs> yes, uh, Kos is saying he wanted to do um, uh, <laughs> have uh, donations dictate special things the voice actors can say in the mod. I guess, or was it just in the in the chat? I don't know. Not entirely sure what what his plan was, but it sounded funny. Looks almost like a magic. A thousand and five voice lines. <laughs> Jeez. Wild. Um. Hold on. Let's take a look at um. And here, I'm on my other monitor at the moment, hold on. Oh. So this is a half so that is inside the gun. Uh, yeah, this the barrel and receiver part sits on top of this, and then as you can see here. And then when you reload its break action, you see what's underneath. That's the plan anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, good morning, Beach Glow. What's up? It is 8 a.m. for me, so it has been a morning for a while. <laughs> double barrel. Uh, yeah, we're going like double laser barrel. So like, we're not laser. These are the fusion cells. We make contact in here, and then there's stuff in here that converts it to be like, blah. It is starting to take shape, yeah. The coils for what purpose? That was someone. Uh, someone suggested that. Um, let's see who was it? who suggested the toaster coils. Was it? Where was that in the chat? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it was Dirtbag Thirty Nine. What a funny name. What's up? Oh no, how's it going? Uh, oh no, is a uh, fellow some settlements too. Uh, dev, so 
Let's see here. Just lurking around. Nice, nice. And we can line the barrel with the coil. Well, that's kind of what's going on here. So we have these plates on either side. They make contact with each other because the fusion cell has a positive and a negative side and the negative side is, or no, the positive side is touching this side part of the receiver. And because of the break action, there's no other connection between the two. So that's that. But the toaster coil sounds interesting and it can be a nice little surprise when you go to reload the gun and you see that. I think we should implement that for sure, actually. So let's do that now. Toaster coil. Well, I, I mean, I'm actually going to go more of the oven coil where it's like rounded. Because that looked cool. Like an electric oven or range. Um, so yeah, let's, let's uh, do that. I think what we're going to do then is... I'm going to go bam. We're going to extend this. Whoops. We're going to extend this piece out. We have more room to work with on this toaster coil. Like that. All of the space. And maybe the coils will connect to here somehow, to that part. Will be custom laser colors similar to photon disruptor. Uh, we could probably do that. I kind of figured it'd just be red, but we can make it a slightly different red, I guess. I think the projectile will take a lot of messing around with, though. We won't be making a custom one. We'll just be taking a vanilla one and then just, you know, messing with it so that it can... Uh, Makes sense with the uh, we're doing here. Okay, so coil. Let's do the coil. Here's the plan. Um, we're gonna go starting from here. Maybe like a straight line. It's gonna turn corner around like so. It's gonna come back. And then it's gonna go back out here. It doesn't need to be perfect, I can edit this in a second. I'm just kinda of wanting to create the overall shape of it. That. And we'll just have a mirror on the other side, so I don't have to do it once. Okay, so that's. Oops, I went to grab this. There we go. I'm using Battlefield One double barrel shotgun animation will interfere with your animation. Uh, no, no, this is entirely standalone. We'll be making all new animations for this gun to be its own separate thing entirely. All right, so that's kind of the shape we're going for. Uh, let's straighten it out a bit, though. But like this, actually, that's pretty straight right there. There we go. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> These. There. That's that's a bit better. Uh, straighten that. I'm trying to move a little quickly because I don't have all the time in the world, so. Um, let's go like that. And then, I don't know what's going on here. So. There we go. That's going to be the path. Right, sorry, I was not picturing it correctly. The quill down there makes more sense. Uh, cool. 
So we're, we're running into there. Okay, I gotta go try to stop by later. When, when will the stream end? Um, it's 8 a.m. now. We're only like three hours in, so we got nine more hours left. So uh, pop back in uh, whenever you're back. And uh, we'll catch you later, Beach Glow. Like, there we go. Okay. All right, so that's the path we're going to use. Um, oh, this is still in our story. There we go. There's a path. We're going to create a little circle. That's going to be the the actual piece. Or this is going to be the shape that is used for the path. Take this, we're going to go compound objects, loft, get shape. There you go. Um, this is basically how I do wires. Then we're going to edit the skin parameters because it's a little over the top. <laughs> we can definitely simplify that some more. That seems fair. And then, of course, give back our material. There you go. That's the. There's our toaster coil. Good idea, dirt bag. <laughs> Um, so now what we're going to do is see if there's anything wrong with it. And what do we just like this kink over here is kind of really breaking the flow of it. So we can uh, mess with the line. So line. What we're gonna do is X-ray that. And, uh, we can still manipulate it. that and that way it's not clipping in over there either so we can move it that way oh my playlist just ended i need i need more music um let's see what what to what to listen to um all right i'll just play that It's gonna end up being something like a double barrel gauss shotgun. Um, no, it's gonna be more laser blast shotgun kind of type of deal. Um, but it is double barrel break action. I'm wondering if I should move this over here more. That looks cooler. I like that. It's closer to this piece. All right, I think we're good to set this in stone. We've got a couple things to fix. Oh, it's not bad. All right. Okay, so a couple corrections was like in here. We'll just take these, weld it. Um, is there anything else? Any other right here? We can also simplify the amount of vertices. Okay, let's check this. These two over here. Oh, look at that. Um, we can just straight go like that. Well, no, let's, let's do these first. Dun, 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 dun. Go like that. Love that. That seems fire. That's that's fine to me. Um, and then we can get rid of these ends because we don't need those at all. And there we go. They didn't take much time at all. We just now need to add it to the other side.
That was cool, huh? I like that. That was a good idea. Uh, and I think it was Dirtbag was the one that gave that idea. Look forward to the results either way. Um, yeah, me too. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Based off how we're doing, I'd say it's it's going to turn out pretty good. All right. So we got that going. Uh, we'll have that glow later on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Um, I'm going to add that to a new layer. Uh, tools. We don't need that anymore. But we might later. Let's look at that. Um, yeah. We're actually getting somewhere. Can't wait to see what Gopher thinks of it all when the whole mod's finished. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be sick. Um, uh, can't wait for him to play it. I think it's been a while since he's played a uh, since he's played the um, uh, Fallout Four in general, right? He's always playing like Skyrim or older Fallout's. My mom is like, "Come on, play some Fallout." I know he wants to play Sim Settlements too, but he's waiting till Chapter Three is finished, I believe. Um, okay, this is bothering me a little bit, so we're gonna go in here. This centerpiece should have its own. Uh, there we go. It's like sharper now. Oh, look, this is its own thing. So we'll take the center and grow it and then remove that. And then, oh yeah, there we go. This is gonna turn out pretty good, I think. Uh, next, we still gotta work. We still got plenty of work to do on this main piece as well. Um, something else we can do is offer just a pistol grip version without all this at the end of it. But um, we'll do that after this is all more finished. <laughs> Uh, let's think about this hole right here, I guess. It's mostly covered up by this thing we have. I don't even know what to call it. Patch job. <laughs> Go like that. Um, oh, look at that. Uh, I think I'll just take this. Can I? Is that one flat surface? I think it is. All right, then I'm just going to take this. Weld it there. Boom. Like those things. Bridge. Boom. Uh, then we're going to take this and... Oh, wait. What's this? Huh. Um... I feel like I need to remove this for now. It's kind of like really in my way. But let's. Oh, we do have another piece right here. We can connect that. We just played one playthrough of Fallout 4. Oh, really? Well, I guess I missed that. We're playing in VR with some Solomons. Nice. I think version one. Yeah. Excited for chapter three, man, more so than Starfield. <laughs> wow, that's that's quite the uh, excitement level. Then my excitement for Starfield is quite high right now. I really can't wait for that to be it. So we need to patch this hole. This hole's terrible. We just go like that. Oh, that's so terrible looking. Um, I guess you know it's mostly covered up by that other object. 
we might need to do a little bit. Um, oh yeah, but anyways, yeah, chapter three is going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm doing a lot of crazy cool stuff with that. Hmm. really bothering me again all right let's just put like something right here maybe that'll be more eye-catching and you don't see this mess up here very much but we'll just go inset um, like that and then we'll take this divider piece we'll delete it bam <clears throat> and then we'll go Strewed. We'll delete the centerpiece again in a minute. Um, actually, it should be deeper than that. There we go. Um, ah, where'd he go? There he goes. Now it needs to be a little bit, a little bit deeper than that. There we go. <clears throat> some settlements in vr i guess that would work um uh, there's a vr version of the fallout is mostly the same but i feel like you can never be too sure everything's just going to work the same chamfer and then sometimes it does that we're gonna go is bring it back up and we have to do it from the other angle as well I fixed that I, don't, I can't tell how far it needs to go <laughs> Let's see here. We could put something right here. Um, let's see. Definitely have more detail in here, but we also need to think about the hand grip right here. Because like, this thing is really wide right here. We might want to add a cut in here. Be like right here to here where we can um well like maybe if we uh delete I guess I want to that high let's cut it cut in here as well. We need the player to be able to wrap their hands around this thing. They need to grab hold of something. I'm excited for the throwing knife so I can practice for gun run. Gun oh gun run. <laughs> you should you should practice uh that in the actual gun run or in the firing range. Let's see here. So for those who don't know, Beach Club is talking about Apex Legends. What rank are you uh what rank are you at uh Beach Club? So for the grip, I'm thinking we'll just connect these pieces. Oops. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, for that. It almost bugged for a second. There we go. Um, we'll do the same thing over here as well. Then we can take this piece. Now we have this giant hole in it. 
our cutout, I guess. And we can put something in here that the player can actually grab hold of. I, I do want the hand when I'm imagining it. The hand is, you know, hand open, palm facing upwards. Kind of like you're holding like a classic weapon. And this body piece is way too wide to comfortably grab. So let's we'll add something in here. Yeah, I'm just going. I'm not even really thinking too much about it. <laughs> the idea is that it'll look interesting. I think I should get rid of the sharp corner, though. One eighty, but max to five hundred for the. Oh, I'm, that's the. I'm at uh, ranked like uh, diamond or masters and all. I'm about that same level in terms of uh, prestige. I think we will straighten that piece out. We can take this piece. Oh. What in the world is going on here? I did something I didn't like, that's for sure. <laughs> it must be how it's handling the symmetry. It is, look at it, it's overlapping, looking really weird. Just delete that, I guess. Hmm. Straighten that line out. I should correct that once we weld these together. It's not broken. Okay, now we can turn on the symmetry. There we go. Thoughts on the Nemesis, the new weapon. Uh, that thing's pretty crazy. Um, it's really overpowered, to be honest. Yeah, destroy people with it and get destroyed by it, so. Easily. Gotta go midnight there. Oh, wow. Keep up the great work. Uh... I will catch you later then. Um, you know, in nine hours, we might still be online. Or at least Gopher at that point will be playing the mod. So hop back in, check it out. And of course, this will be released on the Nexus, Nexus at the same time. So, And Xbox as well, probably, I imagine. Um, so yeah, catch you later. All right, next up... I guess I don't entirely know what I should be doing right now. It's quite messy. Straighten this piece out, I guess. What if we just took this and this, deleted it? Then just pop these in there. And we can, sh yeah, that works. Oh yeah, we should save. <laughs> should it be like that for gripping? I'm also thinking I need to extend this farther back. And maybe upwards as well, somewhere. Uh, 
Oh, it looks like we got some followers. Um, oh yeah, so Carvac Nightfall DJ Malliance, I guess that's how you pronounce that. I don't don't know. Eight Camouflage, that's a funny name. Laser Riddler. Uh, thanks for the follow, guys. Round out the edges of the grip. Yeah, I mean like this. I guess I should lower it too. All right, we'll have it like that. And then we also need to correct why it's messing up. And it looks like it's because of that right there. Looks like a lot of things are really attaching there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to take this piece, um, all of that, lower it a little bit, take this, raise it up. Oh, look at that. It's not connected. Oh, whoops. Look, there's an extra thingy here. I don't even know what that is. Let's just delete that. That serves no purpose. There's like a line right here, too. What is that? Let's just be the back end of it. I guess so. Oh, huh. okay. Well, let's go like that. Problem solved. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So I wanted to extend this out more like that. This low key looks like the cyber. Oh, we have the DB4. That's right. It does kind of, except a lot boxier. <laughs> yeah, good point. I think it's a charge up too. Secondary fire. Um. All right, now smooth up this rip. Now, I guess, whatever you call that. So, well, that's not even connected, is it? It's not. All right, all right, all right. We need to connect that because that's a problem. Interesting. I see what I did there now. And it was a mistake. <laughs> what was I thinking? Apparently not at all. We should just connect these two. But then it won't line up. This is so bizarre looking. Greetings from Vietnam. Hello. Uh, Tran. Don't know how to pronounce the last name. Sorry. <laughs> so it's the energy. Yes, this is the shotgun. Uh, let me give you a quick overview. It's been a minute since we've done that. Turn the energy back on. Uh, yeah, it's our energy shotgun. It has fusion cells, dual fusion cells. It's got a toaster uh, coil. Vents in the back, stuff in the center for emitting. And uh, there's the stock so far. That's where we're at. We're about three and a half hours in. So I think we're making good uh, good timing. Okay, I need to fix this. Ba -da -da -da. 
So it goes all the way through to the other side, but there's this piece up here that's kind of dumb. Huh. Yeah, this is such a bizarre way I decided to make this. <laughs> All right, I guess what we can try is merging these two together. Oh, interesting. This is not going to be that easy, is it? Have to do this the right way. Can't cheap out on this one. What we're gonna have to do is delete this. And then we need to connect this piece to this piece. This piece to this piece. And then we can quickly cap that. And then we can take it all. Flatten it out. And that is already 10 times better. You're missing the symmetry on your hinge. Uh, yeah, I disconnected it from this, from the barrel. Yeah, I disconnected it from here so that I can work on uh, the areas that the hinge was otherwise covering up. So we'll be back to that. Let's see here. All right, yeah, so we need to do the same thing on the other side because it's totally broken. It looks terrible. Let's leave all that. Like, wait, what is that? <laughs> all right, we'll just patch it. This is how I should have done it from the start, but I did this weird roundabout way of screwing it up, I guess. Bridge it. Bridge cap it. There we go. Locking this repaired. And this will make chamfering a lot easier now. Oh yeah, and I need to flatten this out too. Okay, nice. these as well grab all the edges including these um, but not that piece and then we'll see what we get whoa all right so we're getting a lot of uh, symmetry welding problem um oh, that's caused by that Oh, whatever. We'll fix it in a minute. I otherwise think it looks great. Let's repair this. It's over here. Down here, maybe? There we go. All right, so we have some overlap going on in here. Raise that up about there ish. Put this down about there. All right, let's raise this up a tad. So if we take this, we're basically just doing the same thing on the other side. Make this the same. Oops, no button.
So I need to fix. There we go. Still kind of terrible. We'll just have to take note of it, and when we're done with symmetry, we'll <laughs> correct it. Okay, um, just trying to get a little hungry. I'm gonna grab some pretzels. Be right back. Okay. All right. Snack time. Um, right here we are with the guns before. Um, I just punched a mic. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Um. Let's see. Um. Okay, yeah. Um, so we're doing, I guess, while I break for food. Uh, on the the live page of on uh, the Twitch, and I guess I can copy and paste the link again. Uh, we're doing this for charity and stuff, so we can, uh, you know. Oh, what the heck was that? On cats doing something. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're raising money for uh, fighting Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, you can use the Tiltify link in the description on the um, what is that thing called on the YouTube and the Twitter? No, not Twitter. Twitch. Um, I'm posting it in on both again. So, and all helps. It's all good. I'm going to uh what kind of uh, donations we can get here. Um currently at about what was it, twenty dollars so far? 
I think what I'm going to do is uh, whatever amount we make to, uh, make today during a 12-hour stream, I will match it and donate as well. Uh, I'll put a hard cap at $500. Yeah, I'll match it up to $500. I'm not made out of money, so that's that's as far as I'll go. <laughs> um, I guess I could put the put that information in the thing. Uh, I'm matching it to 500. So, you know, if you donate, uh, it'll be like double donating there. Let's see. I can edit. And for 30. Actually, up to $500. Blah, blah, blah. Alzheimer's. How do you spell that? I think it's I E M E R S. Bam, bam. Do that. That works. I believe, uh, yeah, in on the Twitch page, if you scroll down on the about page or whatever you'll see a thing down there it's also the same the same link donation uh place it all connects to the same fallout for hope uh thing so yeah okay <clears throat> all right let's get back into this All right. Okay, so yeah, we're working on the grip. That's right. It's pretty simple. Maybe we should have like an indentation for the th on the inside here for like where the thumb would reach into. Maybe Does that makes sense. Comfort grip like a Spaz Twelve. Let's see. You know. The spaz has it extends outward further from the receiver. This is already going pretty far out, so that's why I have this on the inside. And uh oh wow, thanks for the fifty dollars donation. Uh I don't know what's Raul Anubis? I know what Anubis is. So Raul Raul Anubis, I guess is how I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it like that. Uh, thanks for the fifty fifty dollar donation. Okay. So, um, so yeah, we're at seventy dollars now. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, comfort grip. Um, oh yeah, and super chats too. I don't think I've gotten a super chat, but if anyone were to super chat, that's also acceptable. It'll just be forwarded to the charity the same way, uh, and it will be matched as well. And um, I think YouTube would probably take a cut out of super chat. I don't even know if I have super chats enabled. Is that is even something I can even turn on? I don't even know. I don't. I don't stream and stuff. <laughs> Best just use the Tiltify link because then it'll update the uh, the little robot guy that's around this area somewhere. Um, the goal, I believe, is at two fifty. Am I correct? I think. Maybe it is this side. Oh, yeah, I can see how it is like. Oh, it's it's grabbing from over here. It's grabbing something and bypassing another. Oh, that's weird. I meant the lines to add some flavor. Oh, that makes sense. Isn't that a vertical lines? I believe. How does this bad look? Toaster coils. Bad twelve. Yeah, vertical lines. Uh, 
Um, okay, yeah, we can add some more detail like that. Um, let's, cause that way it's more like grippy, you know? That makes sense. Um, I do also want to do the inside part too. So what we're going to do is, oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Um, actually, maybe this is the best option. Yeah, we'll just go like that. We'll take this and this. And this and bring it more towards the inside like that. The way you're like actually gripping something. And then we'll smooth it out. Like that. It like makes sense to me, I think. Yeah, we can do that. And then, um, it's bad as bad as the vertical lines. They look like they just cut out. They're not even on the bottom. Oh, they're on some of the bottom, not all of it. Okay. That might be something best to do in texturing. I don't need to be making actual cuts in here, probably. How far does it go? Yeah, it doesn't go all the way up. Um, actually, I think we can. If I add a vertice right... There. That will prevent it from cutting off all the way. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm thinking we'll go a little bit wider than the spans. Like that. Uh, doing it this way is going to make it really difficult to measure, make it look even. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I do kind of want it to be indented in the mesh instead of the texture. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up some rulers, basically. Just a box. Get out of here. Um, yeah, we'll start it right there, and then we'll just use the array again, too. Preview. Oh, not that way. There we go. But we'll do 0 0.75, maybe? An extra one. That works. So now we have a little guide we can use just quickly. Without getting too crazy about it. So bam. 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 And that way they're all equally. Or there's probably a much faster way to do this. Or maybe more proper. I don't know about faster. Good enough, good enough. I just need to correct the first one because I moved it. There we go. And we can take all these and get rid of them because we need them in it. Go of these. Oops, not that far up. I wonder how this is going to work with the chamfer. I might need to remove the, the uppermost. So 
reflected faces. Um, well, that's not the way I wanted that to go. Let's see. Take that. Yeah, actually, yeah, that works. I like it. And then what we can do is, um, oops, as you all know, chamfer. Oh, whoops. Just notice it's doing that. Thing again, get rid of all these. There we go. And then again. Uh, oh, yeah, mine and check it. Oh, it's grabbing the center as well. I don't want that. Quick fader this. Oh, there's a giant hole right here. Oops. I should have been able to quickly not grab the center. There we go. Except. Okay, yeah. Uh, symmetry is really getting in the way. All right, we'll do that after symmetry then. Let's fix this hole on the finish. I don't even know how that happened. Bam, okay. What else do like the Colt 6520 wooden under barrel? Sixty five twenty. Oh, the wait, what? Just an AR? Or the classic ten mil pistol? I don't know. Um, from Paul, one and two. Must be that one then. Yeah, we could. We could probably make this piece wood. If we want to make it wood, then I need to get rid of the some of this here. This uh, would not make sense to go from metal to wood. Yeah. Um, I'm also thinking the stock would be wood too. Uh, we'll come back to that. For now, something I really want to do, something that's really bothering me, is how wide this really is. So let's let's, let's shrink this up some a little bit. Let's see if we have a good way of doing that. Thinking we'll go like it's actually kind of tough to where to put this. Um, hmm. We definitely need to bring that in because it's bothering me quite a bit. Like more like that. We can take some of this. I must have moved something because a lot of this is sticking out. Something 
Oh, I know. It's because I got rid of the, um, I lowered the symmetries auto welding. So that's probably what happened there. All right, let's make this more like that. Let's see. That works, and then we'll take this piece. Where would I put this? This is really flaring out and looking funny. All right, now we need to do it to the front here. All right. Um, I think we'll just have to move this first then. That, I guess that works. Um, let's see. Basically lining up. Plenty amount, I believe. Uh, you know, close enough. Uh, we do need to make this look a little bit better. What does that mean? Oh, whoops. Oh, well, I didn't want to grab that. And I think also we'll Yeah. Not bad. It's been thinned out at the bottom, so it's not as ridiculous looking. And we have a grip. And yeah. I might want to remove this though. Like these. Did I move it? I thought I did. Um, because if it's like a wood piece, it's going to not just, you know, melt into the metal. So, okay, I think I got an idea. Get rid of all this. I'm going to save first in case I don't like it. <laughs> um, delete. And then there we go. Just need to fill in the holes, of course, but yeah. Uh, okay. Now a little bit. Um, oh, whoops, wrong button. You want to detach it for a second so I can really look at it. Uh, 
Mm, yeah, I guess that, that works. I think I'll move this over a bit more. This top piece as well. You can move that over. And let's see. This one's raise it up a bit. The way it looks, it's going to look more like it was actually bolted onto the thing. And then, I just need to clean up this mess. It's going to not do it. What the heck? Whatever. Where's that? There we go. This will be able to cover the hole up. Now that it's its own separate piece, anyway. Selecting way more than I wanted to select here. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Bam. Yeah, that, that was terrible. Does not need to be perfect. Let's just throw it in there and move on. Still got plenty of work to do. Oh, look. That's actually. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Let's um take a look at this again. like we're uh, missing oops wrong button let's move in on this piece that's missing so let's get rid of that what's going on here so you think it's expecting to be farther out That. that works. That's, that's what. I'm in. I'm in. Um, let's see how the. Uh, just taking a quick look at see you know what everyone else is working on. Smash monster chair, blah, 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 blah. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Looks like everyone's doing really good. Nice. Uh, I think we're done with the, this piece. Oh wait, it doesn't go all the way to the edge somehow. Okay, let's fix that real quick. Same thing on this side, it's kind of weird. Uh, 
Okay. I remember when I was like, maybe we shouldn't do the uppermost face. <laughs> yeah, I think we should have uh, not done that. Add these back in there. This is no big deal. We are spending more time on the grip than I originally wanted to, but get rid of all these because the back ones have to be deleted. Okay. Um, let's close that. There we go. That was my bed. And then I'll uh, add this back into the symmetry. It looks like it's doing something underneath here. Actually, it looks kind of cool. I think we'll just keep it. Yeah. Easy enough. All right. Now to work on the end over here. Okay, so yeah, this is just sticking way out. What should I put over here? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what to do over here. It's super empty looking, you know what I mean? Not. Hmm. That'll be something over here. Otherwise, it looks just strange. I think for now, we'll. Mm -hmm. We'll add that in there, and then we'll change those. I'll just take these. Then we can take this piece and
really a big difference there? Cables. There will be cables, don't you worry. <laughs> you want uh, cables in the back here? What, uh, what exactly would cables be doing back here? <laughs> Unless we like had something right here that the, this thing could connect to with cables, you know, yeah, give that some thought. What is going on here? This looks so weird. Ah, there we go. Do these still go? Where did that extra? Vert come from. That was weird. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's add some more uh, favorite chairs on here. What if this section up here is separate from this section up here? Right now it's just flowing into the other. I feel like it makes it hard to add extra detail. So what if we just go like this? That way it kind of like sticks out a bit. And it's like, yes, this is a separate piece. Okay. Kind of like that. There could be a switch layer, switch between one and two shot or something like that. Um... um hmm. Yeah, I mean, this protruding piece right here, it could hold buttons or something. Not that we would actually press any of them, but they'll be there. You could even have a knob or two as well. <laughs> to be like scrolling, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, we can just put stuff there. There we go. So now this is sort of separate. Okay. okay. We'll just close those. What if this was just over here? That's better. Mm -hmm. I see. From there, we can just get a little bit more something or another in here. Just go like um just 
I'm gonna insert so it looks real then. Oh well, what the heck? It's doing something weird. Oops. Oh, this sticks out way far. Does it? I don't even know. Just needs to be its own piece. Oh, what the heck? Also needs to be set to two, and the smoothing group's all screwed up on it because of the inset. I think I should fix that. Nope, I did not. What the heck is going on over there? Is there like... Something weird going on. There we go. Just add some depth to it so it looks interesting in some some sense. Put some bolts in here or something. Okay, works. It just kind of looks a little interesting as well. Look at that, there's another arrow because of the symmetry. Giant hole. Oh my god, it's all over the place. <laughs> How much correction is the top? Looks like there's something broken in here. That fixes that. Have you had any really weird ideas for mods but have time or ability to execute them? Um, what do you mean weird ideas? <laughs> I guess I always have ideas for mods but don't have the time to execute them. So, you know, it'll always be a thing. All right, I can have to fix this over here. Yes. There you go. Hmm. I guess it works. Okay, so we have stuff over there. Uh, let's take this. Put it like over here, make it a little bit smaller. Another one over here, maybe in the bottom, bottom corner. And then we can have a third one here.
or actually we can put it where the trigger will rotate. Okay. Next we have this weird looking area that we got to do something with. Let's see what happens if we do that. Everyone. One, one, let's see. Quite a hard edge. Go to this. Nope, someone donated ten dollars at some point. I somehow missed that. Apologies. Uh but thanks for the donation though. Currently at eighty dollars, so basically one sixty. Okay, okay, let's save. Um, yeah, there can definitely be some sort of control panel like thing over here. Um, yeah, let's wait, wait. Let's grab this. That. And so that way it's like inside a little bit for buttons and whatever. Okay, let's make like a bridge. Mm -hmm. Go that. So here's the idea. We're gonna go like this. Inset. Then we're gonna go like that. Okay, and then like that. So like that pretty much. Uh, this will be facing the player, so I might want to make it a little bit more detailed. We'll do that, that bottom portion right there with a little bit of that. Like the idea is that it's oh, ah. actually raise this up a bit. 
One of those switches you like it goes left and right. Go chain through this. This whole mess at the bottom here, and there's any of this. I think that makes sense. A little bit anyway. Turn out the sides. Oh shit, shit. Select all of this, then chamfer it. Go something like that. And it could be one for each barrel, I guess. I don't know. Not bad. Now, we do need to take this. Actually, I'll go like this. And we do need to detach it. Where's my detach? There it is. Uh, because it needs to be like flipped into like an on position. Like that. I think what I can do is just take this and connect it to the bottom of the bridge. matter at that point. Now it's more in a uh, toggled on position. Let's pull it out a little bit. There we go. And maybe there? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this actually can use a little. What uh what's selected here? I don't need any of that. Uh, 
There we go. And then we can have we got a couple other things over in here. Um, one of those could be like screws. I need to match this up a little better. Could snap to angle, but whatever. And make it smaller. Let's see, small screws. No, it looks on it's looking a lot more like a panel, so mm -hmm. oh, there we go, okay, so from here, I guess we could let's take like one of these. Screwed it outward a little bit. And then that way it's like a little little light bulb. Move that out and there we go. Let's send this to local. Should be pretty, uh, yeah, see, pretty good there. Or, well, maybe they should have like a couple lights. Down below the buttons, like that. I didn't do any more. Looks like some sort of panel if I've ever seen one. Here we go. And then what I was thinking about while we were doing that was going over here. Having a little Can I fix that again. It's doing the weirdness. There we go. Nice. So I'm thinking I'll do big jump for there. Okay. Uh, this is the part where I'm thinking cables can connect into the panel. This is this piece right here.
Okay. Um, all right, let's get the cables going. So we can have them just come from underneath, I guess, this vent thing. And then, yeah, okay. That's easy enough. Uh, so something like... Like that. I'm just drawing out the shape of the path. Because we're going to be doing the same thing as the toaster coils from earlier. Uh, I think they would be connected like that or something. Like that. Like that. Curve it like so. And that'll kind of be like the cable back here, covering up any of the boringness underneath it. That'd be pretty good. Okay, uh, now I want that circle from earlier. Let me go compound objects loft and get shape. Uh, whoops, get shape. Hmm. Maybe it should be a little bit thicker of a cable. Not bad. Let's take this. Just maybe a bit. Um, that means we're going to need to move some stuff around a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We need a thicker cable. Bam. And then we'll adjust the line a bit. So it's going straight up more. And then over here. Bam. Yeah. Up in that way. It's dipping a little bit into this piece here, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We can... There. Yeah, see? Yeah, like that. That works for me. Confirm that. Oh, wait a minute. Loft. Bam. Go signs. Get rid of the line and our tools in general. A couple of things we need to fix is the jankiness of this line here. Adding a little bit more to it will go a long way. Let's 
thing looks like a scanning device, but then you kill people with it, I guess. And then, uh, the game. Looks like we're approaching five hours soon. Add some beans. And put that on the toaster coils. Cook some beans. Let's see here. Uh, we need to add some little bits for the this thing right here. We can just repurpose this yet again. Ninety degrees. Just so that it looks a little bit better. Connecting to the underside of this thing. And that it makes sense, you know. Okay, so next. I have that cleaned up. What if I just took this and went like I don't know. This sticks out a little bit. I'm going to start speeding. Whoa, what is that? Oh, did I accidentally grab? I did. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know what happened there. Let's just delete that and redo it. And save, because it seems like something really wonky is going on with Max at the moment. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. I don't I don't know what happened over here. Alright, extrude again. It's just gonna stick out. Not sure what that's gonna do, but I don't know. I feel like it should have like a label half falling off. Label. I don't know what label. I was thinking of doing like a, you know, those warning warnings on there, like electrical hazard or fire hazard warning sign sort of thing on the texture. It would be indented into the metal. That was the, the idea anyway. Semi or full auto? Uh, no, it's gonna be a semi. Boom, boom, boom. Got to think about how much it's gonna shoot. Actually, I guess, but I don't know. Um, next. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta clean this up because it's kind of messy. Let's add, let's actually take this, make it its own, there we go, just looks stronger that way I guess. I like etched warnings. Yeah, same. Oh, interesting. 
We'll come back to it. Next, we shall work on this piece a little bit. What do we do here? Mm -hmm. So now we're finally back on this piece. We can uh, get the symmetry back onto it and you know, clean it up and make it look good. Make it match the rest of the thing. Get all this selected. I think for this, simple enough just to garble it, of course. Don't need to select that. There's extra things selected that don't need to be there. There we go, much cleaner. I think it will go like this, this, oh wait, wrong button. That. Wait a minute. That's that good. Try that again. I like to cut holes and things and just be like, yeah. <laughs> Clean up that piece as well. And then the remainder looks like that more. That's pretty good. Um, I can add this to the, oh, it's to this piece. And then we could take, uh, we could use this again. Or we'll just use this one just closer. Great to make a cylinder and then just using it so you don't have to just keep making the same cylinder over and over again. Um, so what we're going to do is take it like that and that and just delete the center portion. Like that. That way it's like actually connected. Uh, and then we'll add extra bracing with the second one. Let's see. What's going on with King Gas? Um, okay, we're going to uh, hop into chat with King Gas. You guys should be able to hear him. Uh, and Nero, so I'm hopping in there now. Or, I think that's a good solution. Or maybe yeah. not, maybe not. Don't hand it out to everybody, but just have an extra one just lying there on the on a countertop somewhere without an ownership flag. So you I can think just that's pick it up. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna end up doing. So then everybody has got it there, and so it'll be like eight people are wearing it. And then Neher, who just joined us, hello sir, um, hello, is gonna do like a pickup animation for the weapon that'll be next to it. So that way, boom, boom, they get both right next to each other. They won't miss it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Nero. Well, I know you got a lot of time to make up, so I'll let you let you roll out. I just wanted to check in and, and see if there's anything uh, anything I could help with, and, and find out if it was a time zone problem or if you missed your alarm. Sounds like the the former. Yeah, it was just a time zone problem. I'm just <laughs> dumb like that. 
Oh, that's all good. Oh, no. All right. Well, good, good luck <laughs> on, the, on the rest of the project. Guys, go check out uh, uh, his channel. You can find the link oh. on the uh, sinselements.com slash charity. You can see what he's working. Hyper fast 3D modeling. Speaking of hyper fast 3D Very modeling. Rough. Very rough. Very rough. Hey, we'll, 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 we'll so, accept it. I'm doing the same thing right now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, how's your, how's your uh, hyper rough uh, 3D modeling going? Uh, the gun is, oh my God, he did that thing again. Uh, well, well, we're making our way through it. Um, he's doing that thing again. Uh, anyways, yeah, the gun is mostly, it's mostly in shape. Um, this has got more things to do. I'm hoping to have it finished in the modeling within the next hour. Wow. Okay. Or, or hour, hour and a half. And then I can switch over to. Uh, texturing for probably about 20 minutes and then animation for the rest. Wow. So real quick and dirty textures focus on the animation as the, uh, is the big, is the big benefit. Yeah. Well, with the textures, um, since I have all kinds of different materials that I've made, it's going to be really quick and easy to just throw them on the, onto this gun. Got it. What are you, what are you using and, to, uh, to do time. the modeling using 3ds or using something else? Yes, yeah. we're using 3ds Max for the modeling, and then for the texturing, we'll use a Substance Painter, and then for the animation, we'll be back to 3ds Max again. Nice, um, cool. Well, you guys can check out Neher's weapon creation. I can't believe you're almost done with the weapon already. That's wild. <laughs> That's we've been going, and the audience, uh, my audience has been giving me suggestions. Like, uh, you know, one of our viewers. Uh, Dirtbag and then some numbers. That's that's her name. Yeah. Uh, Dirtbag thirty nine gave an idea for toaster coils. Nice. Like the coil on a toaster, and I was like, and then we kind of like diverged over to an oven's electric coil. Yeah. And we put that in onto the gun somewhere. So I I can get down with that. We're having a good time. Yeah, that sounds fun. Um, awesome. Well, I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'll see it at some point. Right now. I am uh, doing everything I can to not make SAG fall behind because the first task he gave me, I totally blew it. <laughs> like, it's taken me way too long. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to play catch up now. Uh, but I want to check in with everybody and make sure uh, everything's going smooth. Do you need anything other, or, or you got it all under control and you're good to go? Um, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're going. Cool. We're still going. So All right. I'll check in with you again in a few hours. Enjoy. See ya. Take it easy. All right, there we go. Okay, I don't know what happened. But for some reason, these are going crazy every once in a while. I need to check on it every once in a while. It's kind of annoying to have to repair them repeatedly. But I guess it's going all right now. So, yeah. Okay, um, the most part we can get away with the gun being shaped like this. The most atrocious part of it right now is the blockiness of the tunnel here. So uh, let's uh, spend some time on this now. So when this pops open, 35 degrees, actually it could probably be 30 now. Yeah, 30 degrees. That's better. What we can do is put a handle on it somewhere so that the player can grab it and bring it back down instead of just grabbing the top of it. A handle can be useful for, for that portion. So yeah, I think we'll we'll create some sort of handle right there. Something for the player to grab. Um, yes, this is a laser shotgun. So you, you know, it's got those cells. So I like pop these out. And uh, it's not going to fire cells. <laughs> it has a, an emitter sort of thing going on in the inside here. I'm thinking the inside of the barrel might be kind of more like a glass look, maybe. So that it's like reflective, a reflective surface. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, Let's see here. That's our grip for grabbing it. 
So handle. You just put like a sideways handle. It'd be pretty easy. Let's go to box. And I know what it is. So I'll add some more dimension to the side of it rather than it just being literally a box. So we'll go like that. Fusion core launcher. <laughs> Don't forget the safety knob at the trigger and action release. Oh, where could I put that? I was thinking like a button on the side here would be the trigger release. I mean, not trigger release, the, the brake release, I guess to call it. And then I guess we could just put a safety some over here. I don't know. Um, let's see, let's add a handle here above the front grip because it's going to be tilted forward. So then we can grab it and bring it back down easily. Uh, maybe this is like stick out a little bit more. Get the fingers in there. Too much. That sounds about right. Um, and go like there. Okay. There we go. Oops. Bridge. Um, I think it might be a little too thick. There we go. Um, okay, and then we need to delete back facing like that. And then Set it all. Chamfer all the things. Get rid of. Um. Well, yeah, it's fine. Can't really see it anyway. Well. Can we see any of this? No, not really. Delete it all. There we go. Go like that. Business end. Place head here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to attach this now. Uh, attach, bam. Um, since I'm, I'm going to grab the my favorite cylinder piece. Um, oh, wait, I actually delete that. Uh, clone to object. And attach. And we'll have to pay attention to any wonkiness with it stretching across the whole gun for unknown reasons. It's got to be symmetry related, right? Back to element. There's that. So this is incorporating into Simpson Ultra Project. No, this is for the, um, we're doing a charity thing uh with Wes Johnson who's a voice actor who's done stuff in Fallout 4. Uh it's for 
uh, helping put an end to Alzheimer's. Um, a lot of people suffer from that, and families do as well. And we're basically just uh, raising money by a bunch of us are all uh, working on one mod together. Um, my contribution is adding a gun to it. And uh, we, are, we all have 12 hours. We're all streaming simultaneously right now. Um, if you want to check out all the streams together, you can go to simsettlements.com slash charity. And then uh, in the link below in the description and uh, on the, the Twitch version as well, there's a a Tiltify link that you can donate to the, the campaign. And then uh, on top of that, uh, we're currently at $80. I'm also matching donations as well, up to 500 At which point after the stream ends, I'll just donate it to uh, King Gas Stream because they'll be streaming. Or a Gopher, actually. It might be Gopher. I'll figure it out later. Um, let's see here. The handles are really making it look really wide, but when it's two fusion cells thick, it's kind of got to be. The toaster gun. It shoots a. Uh, <laughs> it shoots a uh, bread. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to see the the coils, um, they're right there. Look at that. And so when you reload it, you'll see the glowing co coils. They look pretty cool. Oh, uh, yes, she put out a Voice of Palooza mod uh, on the Nexus. Be sure to check that out. Download it, endorse it. You know, all this stuff. I think it's currently in the hot files, I believe, on the Nexus. Okay, so we have this. Um, handle. You can add a button. That's right. So that it detaches. Makes me think how nice a weapon could look with a vertical foregrip on the side of the barrel. Uh, yeah, I guess that can make sense. I have it in this horizontal position because it's going to be up like this. So you can just go from grip down here, grab it, and pull it back down real quick and easy. So next we're going to add on our uh, button. And you know we're going to be using one of these. Our wonderful... Uh, cylinder that keeps bugging out and ruining things. <laughs> this will make it stick it up. So the idea here is that you'll grab the handle, and then with your thumb, you'll press the button, and that will release it. So overhand, thumb. Um, and so we'll add our button in here. Make sure it's not clipping in anything. Yeah, it's not. It's good. Right? Yeah, yeah, we got plenty of room. So we'll go inset. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Big button. This is the button you do want to press. I should make it red. Go there. We'll add one more in there. That'll be on the ins pushed in a little bit. Like a thumb resting point, I guess. Hey, make a skit later when your character was trying to reload and the eject diffusion cells so hit your character on the noggin. <laughs> 
Not sure Xander would appreciate that one. <laughs> okay, um, next. I'm going to smooth all of this. All at once. It looks like that. Um, I'm trying to think of a better placement for this though. It looks weird just glued to the side of it. Maybe over here. Yeah, you can totally press the button with your thumb from over there. Okay. Another thing we need to do is like sights, you know, just like a simple iron sight, you know. Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay. End of the barrel there. How do you make your mod intros pro elite gamer animation skills, or by chance is it Fallout 4 VR? Uh, no, it's not Fallout 4 VR. It's mostly motion capture and uh, keyframe animation done in 3ds Max and uh, motion builder. 3ds, I mean Autodesk motion builder. Uh, I do have Fallout 4 VR, but. I haven't played that in a long time. It's been a minute. Oh, this is actually a bigger site than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go with uh, a site that's similar to the Select Revolver. This is just a good, good looking iron site, really. We'll go like that. Where to guess? Let's see how that looks. Boom, boom. Yeah. There we go. Let's see. What can we do with this front end piece here? Oh, actually, you know what? Let's raise this up because. We're gonna wanna add oh, whoops. Uh that button. There we go, I found it. <laughs> that button was shift. Alright, uh bring that down. That way it's like I don't know. It feels like it makes more sense, I guess. Actually, three twenty eight. Put that in there as well. There we go. Now it's even. So when you only use that grip when you reload, we want the best release button. Place one the grip itself. Like when you grab your X, automatically press the button. You mean on this thing right here? My idea was so that it didn't look so plain on the side here that you would have something else, you know. And it wouldn't need to, well, maybe if you're like a left-handed person, I don't know, if you use guns with your left hand. Not that you can and follow it anyway, but usability, I don't know. It's just kind of trying to add more to the side of this thing. You mean easier to animate? Well, it's, it wouldn't even be difficult to animate at all. Pressing a button with the thumb at the same time you grab the handle. You should make a flip cock dual lever action. Feels like you're going to do it. Oh, like for another gun, maybe? <laughs> Not for this thing. Uh, lever actions are pretty cool. Yeah. 
Okay, let's try. Clear off these sides with a nice little chamfer. Um, and this as well. Okay, whoops. So like, so like that. And then, I kind of want to, Do something. I mean, it's a shotgun. You're not sniping with the thing, you know. So, like, we'll take this piece. A little smoothing action on it, like that. Things a little more stylized. And then uh, we can try aiming down the side on it. Okay. Um, I guess we should also add something in the back to line it up with. Also, because we just want more detail in general. So let's save. <clears throat> and how should we do this? This would be front sight. Let's actually name this uh, by spelling the word correctly. Front sight. Um, for instance, I'll attach it to the barrel so that it moves with the barrel. A 20 times scope attachment. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is remarkably, remarkably plain, but also somehow detailed at the same time. It's kind of weird. All right, um, let's add on our uh, sight. We can just add it straight onto this piece. Just go inside. Extrude. It's a little, little wide there. Pretty much. Nothing too crazy on that. Um, I guess we'll just go like that. Simple yet effective. There is the lever action shotgun, so that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Lever action, all the things. It looks like it has wings and it's going to take off. Let's try adding a little something to this. Warm. It will just go like this. Reverse break action animation instead of the usual break action is in the opposite direction. Yeah, that'd be cool. Vanilla laser weapons also have a rather simple blocky design, so it's fitting. Yeah, that's kind of like what I was going with. Most of the magic happens inside the weapon. Indeed. Lever action missile launcher. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it kind of has like that, like M16 rail sight kind of feel to it. It's simple yet effective. Um, or yeah, we need to add, we need to add like a, a knob. Where can I put that? Kind of covered our panel here with stuff. 
Oh, I can put them right here. Okay, okay. We'll put two shares. Why not? Go cylinder. Uh, build it sideways. All right, here we go. Bam, bam. Delete the other on the back side of it. Don't need it. Like that, and then we will double it. Then we'll extrude it. Extremely curious to see how you'd make that work. Um, <laughs> yeah, me too. You have to manually load every every missile into the side of the thing, and then you'd uh, lower action would eject. Well, I guess it wouldn't need to eject because it fired the missiles. So. I don't know. That's a thought for another time. Pretty much. All right. So knob go like that. Eh, maybe a little bit wider. that and then we'll go on the oh, the other way inside like that and then for here we'll go like this oh I moved it there we go uh, little bits for gripping the knob you know It was a real thing. Okay. Well, uh, we know it's possible. <laughs> Move up the knob. Um, how to go about this? I think I'll just go like this. Uh, throw it like that. And then... There we go. That way I can select all the outside edges. Move that out. Okay. And then on the inside, on the texture, we will just indent a screw shape into that. Oh yeah, and then there's this piece. This knob isn't going to actually move, but yeah, whatever. It's to design, I guess. It just makes this piece that sticks out actually feel like it does something. It's a little difficult to get to, but I mean, this gun doesn't look like it doesn't look like it was made to be ergonomic. So, but uh, not bad. The vanilla ray laser ray balls are which guy gets these to pretend laser sight. Maybe there could be another added detail. And there is like some sort of yellow tube on there, huh? I'm not sure um what that's for. <laughs> Looks amazing, or should I actually make something like that? No, it's just practice, you know, just doing all kinds of nonsense. I mean, you've, a lot of people are watching the stream, they know I've just been doing things almost entirely randomly, and we've gotten this far, so it's working. Okay, so let's go add in. I think we'll just have to leave the cable as is. I feel like we need to put something on the side of this thing right here. Um, we have events here, so what else could we do with this thing? 
Something functional. Make an animation, crank it to Wumbo. I don't know. You never crank it to Wumbo, man. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now let's see here. You know, there has been something I've been neglecting this whole time, and that's this uh, cylinder piece just being lodged into the side of it. So I think we'll need to correct that right now. What the heck? Oh, whatever. So we're going to go like that. Take this, and we're gonna go like, like that, I guess. I'm gonna take this and go like that. And then we can go oh, chop all that out. Basically, we just need to add more lines. All the lines. Very carefully. There. One more. And then this side. Bam. Bam. And then the plan. Um, there's no vertices to accidentally hit, right? Okay. It should be the same on both sides. Oh, it is, because it's, it's symmetrical. I got it. We're good. So we're going to take these. No way this is the right way to do it, but we're doing it anyway. Like that. We definitely need to bring these in closer, actually. Um, play, it will fit in the universe like at home. I don't know if it doesn't feel like it needs too much detail either. Um, yeah, it doesn't need a whole lot of detail. It just needs to have some empty space filled in a little bit. Is if you have too much detail, it stands out. If you have too little detail, it still it still stands out. So don't want that. Um, and you know we've still got extra time on our modeling. Uh, what's what's the word? Deadline. Which I had set for about eleven to about eleven thirty, and it's that's about an hour away from now. So I think we're doing pretty good. Um, so that should fix that. It doesn't look very different, but we can definitely make it look very different by adding in. Um, actually, you know what? I need to disconnect this for a little bit. Because we have all this dead space. Oh, dead space. That's a good game. <laughs> Get rid of these. Okay, it looks like we have some clipping going on somewhere. What is this? Okay, so the clipping is beyond. It, it's entirely hidden, so we're we're safe. We're good. Whew. Um, there is something I wanted to do though.
Um, on the inside. I wanted to chop that out. Have something selected? No. Uh, oh, there we go. It wants to be a, an entire plan to deal with. It's, I think we'll just ignore it for now. Or entirely. Many of the people who nip match weapons and have way too many details. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's probably a lot easier to add the details when you're uh, throwing models together. You have a lot more at your disposal in a shorter amount of time. Uh, let's take this and this and change them. I set an itch to play Fallout 4. Again, I somehow missed that one later. Uh, yeah, then enjoy Fallout 4. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this mod is coming out today. So, yeah. And now that we have that cut out, we can make use of it by doing some chamfering. And the chamfering will add extra little detail to this piece right here. Look at that. I just need to fix it and make it look a little bit better. <laughs> See? All right, let's um, correct this. Make that a little higher. go. Same thing on this side, it looks like. All right. Um, now we can uh, attach this back onto it. Ooh, let's save. Uh, get a stretch. Uh, oh, that felt good. All right. Um, next. Feel like we need something more. We need something. Maybe a tube like the uh, laser has. How much for you to read me a book? Your voice is smooth as silk. My voice is smooth. I've only ever heard the opposite. <laughs> I've only ever heard that my voice is rough. And it kind of is. Um, and I don't even know why. I don't smoke or anything. I don't know why my voice is like this. It just is. I feel like... What else can we do here? I guess we can just add that tube thing the laser rifle has, because I just, it can't just be a box, <laughs> right? Unless we, like, add something on top of here, like an indentation, just for the sake of it being not terrible. Like that, and then let's fix this first. Okay. Uh, and these are a little extra that I need. Just kind of selected stuff on the side. And let's just whoop. I don't need all those verts. Same thing with all of these as well. Should 
make that count a little bit better. Uh, better. I don't have money to donate, but I wish you good luck. Hey, that's fine. It's not a requirement to donate. Uh, we're just all here having some fun. Let's see here. The gun is coming together pretty well. I mean, I'm uh, I'm surprised. We just need to uh, get into this piece of the. I'm thinking we'll cut into it a little bit without it being too deep to where it goes all the way through. And we'll add some. I don't know. Um. And then we can make this a little bit functional by having an air inlet. I don't know. Just we're just doing whatever. Hmm. It looks like we have some new followers. Uh, Ancient Brad, Matt W sixty five, Heatwave Chili, Heatwave Chili. That could be like a flavor. I like that. That's a good name. Uh, yeah, welcome, uh, welcome to this the stream. That, those are Twitch followers, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. And add some detail, nothing crazy, and then we can do a tube thing. Maybe the tube. Actually, let's take this more that way. What would the tube do, though? It just feels like it needs to make sense. It needs to do something productive. You aren't streaming on Twitch? I am on Twitch. Hey, Foxel. Foxel just said hello on Twitch. Um, uh, yeah, twitch.com or twitch.tv slash neher. Just like this channel. Uh, I'm just dual streaming on both because... I'd say most of my audience is going to be on YouTube, and then Twitch is there for people who prefer Twitch, I guess. And the lat latency on Twitch is a lot faster than uh, YouTube. YouTube seems to have like a solid 15 or so second delay. Twitch is like five or something. Um, Let's add, uh, should we do a tube thing? I guess I guess we could add a tube. Oh, um, tube's just not going to do anything. Aha! <laughs> Hello from the other side. Hey, Danimal. Uh, Matt W65. Uh, cool, yeah. I mean, follow on both. I'm not sure I'll be using Twitch very much, but sure, why not? Um, let's see. We're in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I think that puts me in the most past, I guess. I don't know. I want to put something here, but I don't know what to do with it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this. We're going to go... Uh, you know, inset. Uh, make it bigger. Uh, go like this, and then a little like that, and then we're going to extrude that way a little bit, not very much, just a little bit. And then the plan from there is to take this like so, extrude back that way. Uh, only like that much. And then extrude it yet again, a little bit farther though. Like that. And then we can take this in inside face and pull it deeper within the model. Like that. Well, in case you will stream here, I will follow. Uh, Well, welcome, yeah. Um, New followers are Voxel Danimal, Re Reaganizer, Reaganizer, Bill Swifters one, 
Welcome. Your last weapon, this year's energy weapon, is one of my favorite weapons of all four. Uh, glad you like it. That was a fun one. Um, collaborated with Depil uh, D. Polari, I believe is how you pronounce uh, his name. And uh, he did the texture work for that mod. That was a good one. What's the Twitch name? Yeah, it's uh, just near her. Same thing. It's on here. I love to see how you get better at this with each weapon. Like, your fifth badge level on your two deals I didn't like, but a bit smoother than the last. Yeah, that's, you know, you just keep making guns, and then they just get better and better. And then I try to update them, too. It's a little bit better. But anyways, what we did here was we added just a hole on the side of it without it being just a straight-up hole. So we can add a little bit more detail, but it's still simple. Uh, at least that was the idea, anyway. I just need to check for these. Like so. A uh, very small chamfer, very nice. And then on the inside as well. All right, we'll have to correct that. I don't know what it's doing in there, but I don't like it. So we're going to go like that. And so now you get this like sort of thing. Oh, whoa. Something happened here. Oh, I see. Have to correct that. There we go. And correct that. And then, let's see. What is it? What is that? Smoothing is fix. Is that correct? Bam, bam. Clear, smooth. All right, now the side has been corrected. Now, um, yeah, look at that. Yeah, if people are, you know, they like the stream and they want to see some some modding work be done, you know, you can do that. Oops, oh well, wrong button. Way that was like a. I don't know what it would do, but it does something. Um, let's add. Something else. Yes, let's add something else. Will this mod, when it's finished, be PC only, or should I upload it to Flux as well? Um, I believe. Let me ask King Gath if that's the plan. I imagine it is. We always do everything on Xbox as well. So I don't see why not. As well, people are asking. Let's see what he says. I imagine so. This is going to be, he's the main person of the, of the whole thing. So if for whatever reason it says no, then I'll probably just get permission to upload this as a standalone weapon for Xbox. Yeah, yeah, we'll see uh, what he says. And then it looks like someone at some point uh, donated $10 to the charity. Uh, yeah, uh, th thank you very much for that. Again, I'm. there's supposed to be a sound that plays, but it's just not. Uh, I don't know why I'm not hearing anything on that. But uh, yeah, it's much to be appreciated. We're now at $180 total. Oh, look at this. Look at this really rough angle here. What's going on? What's going on here? There we go. Looks like this one could use it as well. Looks pretty good. Okay. You know how the laser rifle has this like long extended uh, piece? It's kind of remind me of it, except maybe this is a little bit bigger. Like this is more of a the kind of weapon you would hit fire.
it was me who wanted to do any more, but hey, any the, any amount helps. And it's like I said, it's not a requirement. You don't have to. Uh, you know, just go into the one of the fund and some matching uh, donations. Just I double your money. All right, we're starting to reach the point where we need to start finalizing things on this thing. Oh. Um, we might just have to call it. <coughs> All right, so something I want to do before we finalize is make sure the scale of the stock isn't too crazy. So what we're going to do is import the laser rifle. And... We're going to scale our weapon to it because I haven't done any scaling at all. So let's see here, um, extraction weapons, laser weapons, and we're going to use laser rifle, laser load one. And it's probably going to be turned 90 degrees. Yeah, it is. Um, wow, we're actually really close to the scale. That's crazy. All right, so we're going to just Put it off to the side while we fix the positioning on everything else. Any degrees. Um, no, let's get that out of there. Let's see here. Oh, whoops, I have local selected. There we go. Trigger's about right there. Stock does not go back as far as ours does. So we'll have to, we're going to want to adjust that. I'm feeling like the overall thickness of our, our gun is maybe too thin. It needs to be upper up more it wouldn't be hard to change i think we should do that i'm thinking what we'll want to do hmm right now we'll just line it up with their trigger and uh, adjust this to not go out so crazy far. Um, go like that. Because we don't want the um be holding it and then suddenly it just uh you know, the the back end of the stock is just clipping past the player's shoulder or something. So you kind of want to keep it in the same spot. Um, and King Gathers responded, he says, uh, as long as the file size of everything isn't too crazy, we'll uh, release it on Xbox. So. Xbox confirmed for the most part. To be determined. Um, so I'm feeling like... Yeah, we want to raise up the overall size. Oh, whoops, I meant just this. I feel like the scale might be too small. Oh, wait, no. Oh, right, we imported the um, fusion cell and worked around that. So that's why the scale is so close to the original. Or a, a vanilla weapon. So um, I think we'll go like that. And then we'll hide the laser rifle. In the meantime, let's uh make this taller. It does feel oddly thin. We'll grab that and that. All right, we're gonna have to move the sights a bit. No big deal. All right, how much taller is that? You know what? 
I'm kind of liking the idea of this back piece being smaller than the front, the, the barrel. It kind of just adds something else to it that I'm kind of liking a lot. Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. Um, I can add on more to that by also squishing the side of this more too. Grab all that. I like that. Oh wait, I forgot about that. Okay, I need to figure out. All oh, right, the um. I accidentally selected all of this. <laughs> there we go. Can't do a whole lot. I can, I can squish it a little bit. And I feel like that adds something kind of cool to it. And then we have something there. Maybe I should close the GIF. Uh, yes, uh, I do believe it'll be under King Gath's uh, uh, account. He's the project lead of the whole thing, so. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we're going to need to take all this and raise it up a bit. Like that. Okay. And then I feel like we're pretty much there at the end of this. <clears throat> Coming right up on the six hour mark. Uh hey, I saw that one. Thanks for the uh sixty dollars. Except for the part where I didn't see the name. <laughs> so someone donated sixty dollars. Uh thank you for that. Going to good places. So alright. Um uh oh. What's this? Oh no, it's not here. Okay. Never mind. I think we need to uh finalize everything. I'm not sure we'll be able to do any attachments for this thing because Oh, we, we've really blown through this uh, pretty well uh, through our a lot of time for just the modeling portion. Because remember, we have to animate the whole thing too, and I'm going to need plenty of time for that. So let's uh let's get into this. Um, we have the barrel, front sight. Um, let's uh go ahead and start checking all the smoothing. Pretty good. Fix this. Maybe I should hit this spot real quick. There we go. I think that'll look a little bit better. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Undo, undo. I also want to get these pieces. Okay. And that should be it. Just extra detail, mostly because it's just such a big part of it, you know, and it's going to rotate. So we'll take care of that. And it looks good enough. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I think it kind of looks fine inside the barrel. Oh, this piece is actually messed up. 
forgot because I chamfered it, reset the smoothing thing I just did. Compare two, much better. Okay. Shall now collapse the symmetry. That part is done. It needs a drum mag, obviously. Huh. Damn it, you're right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. Let's see here. This looks. Pretty fine to me. Yeah, collapse. Um, next up is this whole piece. We might need to split some things up because. Reload animation should be where you just throw away the breaching part of it and just replace it. <laughs> I don't think it's really meant to come off. Not when you can just pop in two fusion cells. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so I did want to... I need to clean up right here. Basically what we're doing right now is fixing the smoothing that it automatically did so that we have smoothing that we'd prefer to have which is just, you know, what angles are going to be hard angles or where what angles are going to just flow into each other. Like uh, this one, I want it to be a hard angle, so bam. Okay, we're just hitting up all these spots real quick. Um, so this is its own separate thing, I think. Out of four. I'll smooth that. And now I'll smooth that. And I'll smooth that. Okay, so we can turn that into a triangle. That we can select just that part of it. Um, again, same story. And there we go. On that front. All the smooth. There we go. Now, you know what? I never chamfered this. All right, we'll have to hit that real quick. Um, we'll just turn off smoothing for that because it's going to break everything otherwise. Look at that. Um, we just need to correct over here now. I think I'm just going to go like that. I don't have too much time to just mess around with that. That's a six. Let's put that on a six. Um, cleaning that up. That looks nice. Sorry if the uh, my monitor is so wide that the the stuff in the corner is really tiny and hard to see because. I'm I'm clicking numbers basically. They're groups. I'm adding things to the group. I think I can live with that. Okay, so this piece is wood. So we want separate uh with the group on these. Oh, something separated. Oh, I know that was a thing from earlier. I don't need that.
Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm just going to have to chop this out. Like that. There we go. Because that's just going to cause all kinds of problems. Hi, love your, love you for our mods. Uh, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, glad you like the mods. They're fun to make. And I, I like uh, hearing people enjoy them, so. Okay, so that's one thing. And then we have this weird piece right here. So the symmetry is just kind of grabbing it, going crazy. I think I just need to separate these. And then I'll patch it after we uh, collapse the the stack. Okay, so um more more smoothie let's go okay yeah i want this to be this one yeah there we go there we go Got the top piece of here as well There we go. That's pretty good. I think we'll just keep the trigger guard as is. It's not the best thing in the world, but it works. This is better than the uh, photon disruptor. Didn't have a trigger guard at all. <laughs> it's got to be careful with that thing. The knobs look good. Grip looks fine. I think that's it on that piece. Collapse it and fix the hole manually. these pieces all right so it looks like this is just a straight hole or something okay yeah so what happened was that it was supposed to be hidden by the grip i need to manually grab all these move it upwards all right see covered same thing on the other side because we don't have symmetry on anymore that there we go covered good okay so we have that piece done not all pieces just like the trigger guard and the trigger those look fine clamps oh it is already clamps right I think is that it. Are we done? I mean, we still need to like finalize it, but I think we've done all the parts. It's an energy shotgun. It's gonna be made of metal and wood in a for particularly fallout fashion. So I think we did it. <laughs> I'm realizing something about the grip in third person. This is going to be hard. I think we might just have to fake it when we get to that point because we just don't have the time. Um, but anyways. Look at this real quick. Yeah, all right. There's the front barrel, the sight. Um, we can now just attach the site since 
Not symmetry on anymore. Uh, we have this piece. We this is a giant piece to have on one mesh. So I think we're gonna take some pieces and move them over to this much smaller one. So we'll take this stuff. Nice and easy. Kind of like accessory accent stuff. And that piece too, why not? Oh, we have some up here as well. I think that's good. Uh, let's detach it, and um, add it to the to there. So, and then we we'll also add the trigger guard because why not? Okay, um, so we kind of have like the three main pieces, and then for moving parts, we'll have. Oh wait, we have one more thing to detach. That's the. Toaster coil. It's going to glow. It's going to be on its own material. Um, and then there we can let's start finalizing everything. Um, let's name all the parts. Fusion cell. Let's go FC left and FC right. Toaster coil. Uh, receiver two. Receiver one. Spelled the wrong. Receiver two. And then trigger, and then that's all the pieces. Um, I guess I need to separate the button. Uh, only this side, because the other side is not going to move. Detach as um, break release. So that way we can animate it and go. Um, We can uh, take it and go, bam. Is there any other moving parts? Uh, we're not moving the knobs or the dials or whatever. So, I think that's kind of about it. Okay, let's uh, take this and make it. All right, now we're gonna make a new layer called uh, for texturing. We take all this, make a new version of it so we don't edit the original. Um, we don't need the cells, those are already textured. Toaster coil. Um, it's not going to be textured, but yeah, we'll hide that. Barrel and the button. The barrel on. Where's the grid? Oh, look at that. I need to move everything. <laughs> Over there. There we go. Um, break release though. Just to go back. Any other moving parts? That was it. Trigger is in the right spot. Hopefully. Oh right, we forgot to make the trigger hole. 
I mentioned that earlier and we forgot. Okay. Um, da -da -da. Let's go like that. And then we can take this. Um, actually, we need to make this a little bit. Needs more uh, room in the back. There we go. And now we'll uh, give it that. And a tiny little chamber without messing with all the smoothing we just did. Make some corrections. When you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, there's a hole, or whatever. Okay. All right, well, that was close. We almost entirely forgot about that. So let's save. We have a barrel, barrel release. I'm gonna move these right there. Um. I'm moving it away because the moving part, we don't want it to interfere with the texturing of the rest of the the, the weapon because the rest doesn't move. So let's do that, I guess. All right, now we need to uh, turn everything into, everything into triangles real quick. This piece. And then finally this one. And that's pretty high poly for a trigger guard, but oh well. Okay, there we go. Um, I think we'll do two materials. Well, maybe a third so we can maximize texture detail. Yeah, we'll do three. We have receiver one. Would it help if I spell that correctly? We'll have receiver two. And then the barrel. So barrel, we'll assign to the barrel. Receiver one is this piece. Receiver two is the lower piece. And then we'll add the trigger to receiver two, I guess. All right, and then this piece will be on barrel. And we'll go ahead and save that. Um, next we need to do is the UV mapping real quick. Um, we're gonna do this real quick. We don't have time to be making it proper. So the UV mapping is just, you know how textures are square basically. This is how it wraps around the, text, the, the model. The texture wraps around the model. So you're telling it how it's gonna do it. So we're just gonna hit uh, break and Auto fill. Um, we will need to stitch these because
Um, Dill, that's that's a terribly good idea. <laughs> I want to. I just feel like we don't have the time to do it. You know. You know what I mean. Basically, I'm just trying to smooth out, because otherwise we're going to get some like really rough lines in there on the inside of the barrel. I remember, we want, I think we wanted this to be glass, so this thing is upside down. Like I'm watching a doctor perform surgery. <laughs> be very careful. Um, so that's one barrel, uh, inside of the barrel. Looks like that goes like that. This piece goes up here, I guess. Oh, this was up to there. And then we have this piece, which goes down here, I guess. Uh, just do it. Oh, wrong button. Are you button? I did not scale these yet. Oops. Now the stitch. Let's go. Go like that. Go like that. Okay, it's trying to connect to something stupid over there. Am I missing something? No? Okay. I'm just going to try connecting it up here then. There we go. I think uh, that'll do. We have a lot of extra space, so I'm just gonna make sure we have plenty of texture detail on this piece because it's gonna be facing the player. Let's go like that, I don't care. What else? What else? I just realized I forgot something. Let's collapse to save it, and then I forgot to add on this the little button. <laughs> um, this is the button. So, oops. Okay, let me um properly scale this. That all looks fine to me. Um, I guess we can add more detail with this. And yes, this is the super lazy way to do it. Not recommended, but because we don't have the time, we don't have the time. It won't be that big of a deal. Then, uh, Make some room. Oh, I should select all everything. There's a tiny object there. Yep. Every time we train, are you going to update this at a later point? Yeah, I believe so. We'll probably do animation updates because the animations we're going to make aren't going to be the best in the world. So, it uh, looks. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we're at one hundred fifty dollars. Nice. Uh, so we're now we're going to take a quick look, make sure there's no nothing overlapping or anything crazy. Um, I should make it full screen so we can really see it. Just doing a quick scan. Um, not seeing anything yet. 
Um, what about over here? Looks fine. This part's a little concerning, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. Calling this piece done. Collapse, let's see. Uh, next up, let's do this one. So basically, we're just doing the same thing again. I'm sure whatever you make is already better than most. Of oh, the other modders? I don't know about that. I mean, we're, all, we're all doing our own separate thing, and no one is new to modding. We're all, we're all, we all know what we're doing, so. I mean, Nero, you, I'm sure you know Nero. He's, he's making a armor mod, so. He makes quality stuff. Let's see here. Um, is there anything? This is the receiver one, so yeah, just this. Oh, and the most people the Nexus make? So yeah, <laughs> maybe. Especially in 12 hours. Let's see here. Let's just auto everything. This doesn't have any barrels on it, so we don't need to ditch anything, I don't believe. Just got to make sure nothing's overlapping. Because that is not allowed. That's going to mess things up during the texture process. Which we're also going to be super quick on. I'm not seeing anything crazy, so I'm calling it. We're good. Next. Uh, next is we have these two pieces. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Um, hmm, take a quick look. Again, no barrels, so nothing crazy. The grip pieces look fine. Okay, over here we have some overlap. Which I kind of figured was going to happen because for some reason the control panel is on the same. Just got to separate it. It's no big deal. That's why we look. So we separated that. We just need to move it somewhere it can fit. We'll just put it on the inside of. This, because this is a dead space, we can we can fill this in, and now we have no more overlap. Nice. All right, moving along. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see here. Okay. All right, it's good. Save it. We're going to prepare this for export into Substance. Gonna select all the things. Okay, we're going to go uh, Substance, and then End Owls for the charity. End Alzheimer's Export 01. Smooth and grooves triangulate export, and then we're going to open Substance Painter. Uh, I clicked it twice. Um, hopefully, it only opens once. <laughs> oh, you know what? Open the old version. I have a newer one. I need to get rid of that shortcut. Let's quit because I was meant to open the newer one. Um, that's good. All right, uh, new substance and export twenty forty eight. Uh, PBR metallic roughness. Lots of the alpha blend. Whatever, we're not using alpha, but whatever. It's gonna bring it in here. All right, we're gonna quickly 
texture this. Well, actually, first we're going to bake materials, see if there's anything wrong with the mesh. All right, let's take a look. Basically just looking for anything that looks totally wrong and obvious. Uh, Texture-wise, I mean. Like that, like this for example. <laughs> that is uh, totally wrong and it's overlapping textures because I messed with that during the scan. All right, so we have that to fix. Okay, not a big deal. It was only on receiver two. Yeah, receiver two. Um, this one. So let's hop back in there and fix it. Let's see. Oh, it was right here. Yep. Bam, 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 bam. Just take it. Break it off and move it somewhere else. Right here. There we go. Perfect. Collapse to um, export. Not quite. Export selected. Um, Reimport mesh. Bam. Okay, and then we bake again. Let's see if that fixed it. There we go, fixed. And now we can get started texturing. Okay, so we're gonna go layers. I'm just gonna be dropping a bunch of smart materials and everything. And we're starting with the barrel. Grab that, bam. Um, what kind of material should we use for this thing? I guess metal. Should we just use my uh, select metal? Do that, and then we can throw in some steel real quick. Oh, the steel scratched. Now that to the bolt. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, that's its own really. Grab these. Uh, I don't know how these are the same. But they are so. Uh, steel base. Let's remove the height range. Well, yeah, I'll remove the height range. And then on the inside, let's do that glass idea. So I'm getting really filthy. Yeah. 
And then on the parts on the inside, I guess we can go with like copper. I don't know. Mm. I like the red copper. It looks kind of cool. Then we have these pieces over here. Quickly hitting all the parts. There we go. Okay, next we're gonna um let's go with let's add some dirt to this thing. A little extreme. <laughs> okay. Top dirt is a little extreme as well. Wow, that looks crazy. Uh, what the heck is going on in there? Let's see, film glass. That's going to use to be 100. There we go. Right. Need. And then I'll just add a different dirt for the inside. Just a little bit because it's going to look rather extreme. But, um, nothing in there, so try this one. And then we'll a little bit. And then for the button, I'm going to go uh, plastic, I guess. Let's try plastic. I think we'll just go with this one. Change the color to be red. I think that looks pretty okay. We've raised 37K total. Nice. That's crazy. Uh, Chad Fall 76 podcast just uh, commented that in the Twitch stream. Uh, speaking of, we have new followers. Chad 76, hello. And Al Altiochis. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that one. 
Um, so yeah, let's uh, finish this up. We're going to just take a lot of this and then no, I'm going to get glass, but we'll leave these ones like a straight copy of the layers over to receiver one. It's trying to load everything <laughs> while also streaming. Just call me Dots. Hello. All right. Next, we're going to do let's do steel on um, this plate right here. Oh wait, no, that's on the uh, that's on the receiver too. Never mind. We'll do it on the event. And, uh, oh, yeah. Positive to the uh, sides of the wall. Your mods, if you make us go all over the map to collect them, <laughs> keep it up. I love the mods. Uh, they're, they're pretty fun to make. We're going to go rubber for the, um, the knob. Uh, get rid of the dirt, it's not necessary. And we have some buttons. We'll give it the same um, red there. And then steel on here. Okay, it looks like we have overlap here. Not a big deal. Uh, let's just save. Call it um, and ALZ main. We need to fix that over here on this mesh. So it was on top of these. Mm. Let's see, where are these pieces at? Yep, see, look at that. It's like overlapping and it's terrible. So, uh, what is. Oh, is it just that bag piece? Guess so. All right, well, there's a little bit more. Does your app ever crash and work on these things? Um, well, not yet, but uh, no, not really. Uh, they're pretty stable. I don't do anything crazy to uh, make them have a problem. <laughs> um, also, I have pretty decent hardware, so that's probably a part of it. That maybe the creation kit crashed. Um, not really. Uh, I know what makes the creation kit crash, so I generally avoid doing those things. And there's ways, if you know what causes it, you know how to avoid it as well. But still, also do what you need to do. Uh, but again, the creation kit also does rely on crazy hardware to not crash, so that's part of it as well. Okay, so I think we've fixed this. Okay, so save. Export. Um, speaking of crashing, um, what I'm doing now is something that can crash the substance easily. 
it survived. Oh yeah. So bake mesh maps. We're gonna be baking this again, but uh we'll only do it for receiver one. There we go. And that's corrected. See, not broken. Okay, um, so let's go to our layers. We need to do some uh, light bulbs. Uh, we're just gonna do basic plastic. That. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. I don't want to just make it easy on me. Gonna be an energy weapon? Yes. It's gonna be a energy shotgun crazy crazy weapon. Uh, I ideally anyway. It better be crazy. I really should have just had to paint one of these. I should have set that up properly. So now I have to <laughs> jump around all over the place and um, clean up whatever I hit on accident. And that's all of them? Okay. Uh, let's accidentally clean up the things I hit. I'm sure I hit some stuff. Yep, all over there. Maybe back there as well. Okay. Um, let's add steel to these accent pieces. And I'm thinking this back piece right here is going to be um, wood. So energy cannonball fusion core. It's going to be wild. <laughs> So we're going to go wood. I'm just going to use one of my default ones like this one. Oh, yeah, this one works. Uh, need to fix the scale on it. works. 1.62. And then tone down the brightness. So that should look familiar. That's going to look a lot like the um, any select weapon. <laughs> I wonder how this would look if it wasn't even the same weapon with Zelda alien weapon style. Oh, Zeta alien weapon style. Um, that would look crazy. It, I mean, it kind of does look like this. I, I'm getting metal detector vibes, <laughs> but deadly. It's good to me. Um, there we go. All right. Um, copper. This will add copper to this.
look directly into the metal detector. <laughs> I'm thinking on the barrel, I'll use my darker select color. Or we can go blue. What do you guys think? Uh, blue or darker for this piece? Just overall color. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to work on other things in the meantime. That one, that one. Do I have any rubber pieces anywhere now? Not really. Dirt. Level fix. Copy. Paste. 